Hello, hello, everybody. We are continuing our Ace Attorney journey with more Justice for All. This time, we will be, apparently, going on to Episode 2, Reunion and Turnabout. I have no idea what this might hold, so let's uh, get on with it. This is going to be lots of... I always forget that it's going to be tons of reading. That was no accident. Ooh, more, more animation. That was no accident. I was drugged with sleeping pills. Wow, like Turnabout Samurai. I was murdered. You were murdered by that person. You were murdered? Okay, that's some nice art. Well, somebody's alive. That's why I took my revenge. It's only fair, isn't it? How the hell? Eeny, Iny? But how did that card burst into those flames? Maya! Maya! I finally get to see you again and... <laughs> Is Maya down for crimes again? Again? But we just saw you! In the tutorial case! How are you already in crime jail? Also, that is a nice, like, perspective shot with, like, the the visitation table extending far beyond where it probably should, but... Uh, again! Okay, that... <laughs> that's a lot more, like... intense than... I say that considering that basically every single intro we get to these cases revolves around sudden murder that you see, but... Okay, so somebody was driving a car, they were fed sleeping pills, apparently were murdered, and now Maya is in jail. Again. Okay. <laughs> ah, I was, uh, what I was gonna say is, okay, I've been, I've been doing a lot of writing lately today. I've been doing good. And then suddenly this, I thought, I thought we would ease into it, but no. All right. I finally get to see you again, and it's not your fault. You didn't do it. No, I... I did it. I killed that person. Ob obviously not. Maya, how many... Well, I guess technically you weren't. Well, no. <laughs> we already had... Like... Edgeworth. He was on our no, you didn't do it list. But then after Maya left, we also had... Uh, What's her name? I forget her name. The chief prosecutor. She also didn't do the murder, but why would you be saying that you did it, Maya? But that wasn't you. It doesn't matter. It might as well have been me. What do you mean? This is also very interesting because... I can't believe something like this happened. Okay, I wanted to read that because you can never tell with these Phoenix Wright opening diddly dees because sometimes they just decide to go ha 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 we're going to uh, not actually let you uh, choose when things happen which is kind of annoying but uh, but okay this is interesting because because like with the first case of the games like uh larry's case in the first game and the I, have, I forget what the title for the other turnabout was, the first turnabout of this game, but normally we get the case as Phoenix and we like go through the motions of, ah, yes, this is what's happening. This is the, like the first time that I think a major case has started with Phoenix seemingly knowing more than us, which is interesting. Also, second time seeing Phoenix in a, like, a, a visualization piece that wasn't at the end of a game. So, yeah, this, this is already kind of wacky. Ah. I can't believe this something like this happened. The events of that gloomy, rainy afternoon that started this whole mess keep playing through my mind. All right, well, let's go to that gloomy afternoon. And again, I thought we already met with Maya again. She says, oh, we meet again, and this is how we meet. 
Wright and Cole offices, June 16. There's the plant. Who are you? What depressing rain. Do you understand how depressed that makes me? Do you? Uh, I guess. But actually, more than being depressed, I'm angry. Angry at that weather girl on TV. Who are you? Are you... Are you, like, somebody that Phoenix is, like, interviewing to potentially be an assistant? Who are you? I think our little rainy spell will take a break with a day of sun. Is that... is what that girl said? I'd stick my life on it. Well, it's the weather. But that's why I didn't bother to bring an umbrella today. What nerve calling herself a weather girl? She's going to hear about my $15,000 suit. $1,500 suit, $1,500. I read that wrong. Um, about your case. Unless you're planning on suing the weather girl? I'm sorry. I thought that before we got down to business, we could have some friendly chatter. My name is Dr. Turner Gray. I'm a surgeon. All right, okay, he's a guy coming in for a case. I was wondering why we were here, but the answer has been found. Remind me to never end up under his knife. I'm here today because of this incident. Malpractice at Gray Surgical Clinic. 14 inpatients lose their lives. Uh, okay, first of all, that does not look like a very... Like, normal like, patient layout. Then again, that could be, like, a critical care place. I don't know, but not very much privacy there. Also, why does, why does it look like the ones on the right are, like, oriented correctly, but then the ones on the left, it's like the IV tubes are going to their legs, even though there are no legs. And everybody is just in normal, like, like, shirts. <laughs> this just looks weird. I question this more than anything. But yeah, 14 inpatients, that's an insane number. Oh, you're the doctor at... It's really quite upsetting. Did you hear me? Upsetting! Yes, yes, I heard you. I agree. It's quite upsetting, Dr. Gray. The one that screwed up was that nurse. It was her that got the medications mixed up and killed those 14 patients. How do you mix up, uh, like, uh, that would have to be a really intense screw-up. Because, first of all, that would have to mean that she gave them all a, like, way, way more dose than she should for that medication. But it's just like, I don't know. You, I feel like multiple people would sign off on medication being given to multiple patients. And you wouldn't do it, like, literally one after another, one after another, super duper fast, I would feel. Like, that seems weird. And yet, now listen good, and yet, that nurse had the nerve to go and die before admitting to her wrongdoing. Well, this just keeps going deeper then, doesn't it? She didn't even offer any sort of explanation to me. And this is the kicker. She up and has herself a grand old accident and crashes her car. Smash, crunch, instantly transforming her car into the accordion model. Okay, this is an advanced case. But then who's that there on the road? That's right. About a year ago, all the tabloid shows were talking about it. All right, so facts of the matter. Dr. Guy of a clinic is coming to Phoenix because a nurse gave the wrong medication to 14 inpatients, killing them all, then died in a car accident, and yet we see that somebody's alive there. Who are you? Also, if it took you a year to get to this point, you, you know, in the world of Phoenix Wright, three days in a trial, what the hell? 14 victims of med medical malpractice and the nurse's mysterious fatal accident. There were rumors that Dr. Gray had accident actually caused that crash. People said it was to forever hide the person responsible for the malpractice incident. Why would I? Now, I'm just going to say this once. Why on earth would I want to kill that nurse? Because then you would have a scapegoat on somebody that might have knew that you did something is my theory, personally. It is entirely possible that you 
are doing something else. But that still also ties into, like, the death of all of those inpatients, which would hurt the clinic. Which is something that you probably wouldn't want. So, yeah, this is wibbly-wobbly. She's the one who killed those 14 patients, not me! I think you need to take a deep breath, Doctor, and focus. More to the point, this case is over a year old. Why bring it up now? That's simple, because the situation is slipping out of my grasp. This just won't do. My clinic isn't seeing nearly as many patients nowadays. Do you understand what that means? It means they're not coming to my clinic! You don't say. If it were me, I don't think I'd want to go either. So, what would you like me to do about it? I want you to help me prove I'm innocent. Um, you do realize I'm a lawyer, not a private investigator, right? No, this is something only you can do. Huh? Maya Fay. You know this girl, correct? Maya? Why would he know her name? I heard you were working under her for a little while. Well, yes, I mean... Hey, wait a second here. I worked under her? Yes, am I wrong? She told me, so I'm not quite sure if... Well, we worked a few trials together, but she went back to her hometown to undergo more training. Ah, yes, I heard. It must be lonely for you. Wh what Wait, uh, I'm not... She must be an extraordinary girl to handle such rigid training. Huh? I have an acquaintance who knows a lot about these mystical sorts of types. She is the one who introduced me to Miss Fay. Is Maya really that famous? I'm presuming that he is thinking about Mia because of the work under her, but who knows. And I've already set up an appointment. For what? What else? A channeling. I'm going to have her call the spirit of that nurse that went and got herself killed. Uh, oh. Maya. I wonder what she's up to right now. We, the women of the Fae Clan, have always been spirit mediums. It's because the power to communicate with spirits flows strongly through us. That's what she told me. I guess she's learned to accept her responsibilities and become an adult. Not counting training, this will be her first time channeling a spirit. So, nope, he is talking about Maya. So she gave me one condition before accepting my request. A condition? The condition is you, Mr. Wright. She said that she wouldn't do the channeling without first seeing you again. Me. And this is why I've searched you out. You want to see her too, don't you? All right, this is a... All... Okay. This is... I, I don't know. This feels weird, but like in a good way. Like in a story way. Like I don't know where this is going kind of way. And so... That is how I ended up visiting Maya's hometown with the doctor. Very interesting. June 19th, 125, Curane Village. Huh. Looks interesting. So this is Curane Village, Maya's hometown. Hey, it's the little girl! Are you gonna be the Maya replacement for this game somehow? You were on the box, like, turnabout poster. Why, hello there. And she just leaves, I guess. Hmm, what an odd little girl. Hey, wait up, Pearly! Huh? Someone else coming this way. Nick! <laughs> Maya! How are you? It's good to see you again. Wow, I didn't think you'd really show up. It's not that big a deal. You made it sound like you were so far away. Well, maybe I exaggerated just a little. It was only two hours by train. If I'd known you were this close, I'd have visited more. Oh, yeah, that's right. Why, what, why are you only like, ex why did you exaggerate that it was two hours away? No, you're not allowed. I already decided, you know. Until I become an adult, I have to work hard and be strong by myself. Oh, well, anyway, congratulations. I'm glad to hear training is going well for you. <laughs> All right, well, let's talk. Today's channeling. Looks like you've finally become a full-fledged medium, taking on your first job. Yeah, I didn't think it would be this soon. But this case, do you know the messy story behind it? <laughs> Behold the power of the Maya Intelligence Network. Let's see, 14 people died because of malpractice on Dr. Gray's part, right? And to pin the blame on the nurse, he killed her in what appeared to be a car accident. Huh? Um, so what is this Maya Intelligence Network anyway? The tabloids. That's what I thought. <laughs> I'm just pulling your leg, Nick. What really happened is the exact opposite. I heard all about it from Dr. Gray. Oh, come on, Nick. 
I wouldn't take a crazed killer as a client. She is going to take a crazed killer as a client someday, isn't she? That's too scary, even for me. Yeah, I guess so. Curing Village. So, this is your hometown, huh, Maya? Yep. Curing Village. But I've heard people call this place Medium Valley, too. Interesting. So everyone that lives here is a spirit medium? Pretty much. Most of my ancestors were too, I think. That's probably true, since the Fey ability to communicate with the dead is so strong. Actually, only the women of this village are mediums. So what do the men do? They usually work someplace outside the village. The girl earlier. Oh yeah, I wanted to ask you about that girl I saw earlier. Do you know her? Oh, you mean Pearly? Pearly? Pearl, Pearl Fay. She's my cousin. Isn't she adorable? Just like yours truly. Cousin. Wait, then that means, is she also a... Yep, she's a medium too. Pearly's a real genius when it comes to channeling. Ah, huh, I see. Wait. The, the Fae channel by basically morphing in. In, well, at, at least as far as we've seen. Through Mia. Channeling through Maya. Where M Maya's body then becomes Mia. I don't want to see what happens if Pearl <laughs> freaking channeled Mia. I don't want to see it. I hope I didn't scare her when I tried to talk to her earlier. Nah, it's not you. My aunt drilled it into her head that if a suspicious looking person tries to talk to you, run away. Suspicious looking? Well, you're not wearing training clothes for starters. Of course not. Pearly is my aunt's most valued treasure, so she's not allowed to go outside of town. She doesn't know much about the world outside of Curing Village. Aunt? Pearl's mother is my aunt, duh. Come on, Nick. Well, Nick, I've got to get going. It's about time for the channeling to start. Huh. Oh, yeah. I'm doing the channeling in my house, so come on in, okay? After I'm done, we can grill up some juicy burgers. Eat your burgers, Apollo. That's, like, the only other, like, future meme that I know, I think. Aside from Whip Lady and, uh, Coffee Guy, who looks like Jordy. All right. Good luck, Maya. Thanks. Well, at least she's still the same perky Maya. But what the hell is going to go wrong? What the hell is going to go wrong? Because Maya's going to ch channel the dead. But s something's going to happen. Somebody's going to end up dead. And Maya... What if when Maya channels... What if Ma Maya channels the dead lady and through Maya kills Dr. Gray? <laughs> Could that happen? Could it? <laughs> I don't know. Because we saw a flash forward. Maya is in jail, thinks that she committed a murder. Phoenix said, no, it wasn't you, but it was. What's going on? <laughs> A giant rock that seems to be reaching for the sky. It also has, like, talismans on a big rope. Its origins are written on a beat-up old sign. It looks like this giant rock is called Curing Boulder. There's a really complex explanation written here, but long story short, it's a big stone for spirits to live in. Or something like that. It's an old-style phone booth. I can't say it fits with this area too well. My cell phone doesn't get reception up here, so who knows? I may need it later. Is that foreshadowing? That could be foreshadowing. An old bus stop. It says Curing Village on the signpost. Technically, it just says Curing. The buses seem incredibly inconvenient since they only come three times a day. Rustic, thatched roofed houses where the other villagers live line the street. They're nowhere near as large or as nice as the manor in front of me. It's kind of odd that I don't see any of the other villagers walking around, though. That all, yeah, that, that is kind of weird. The biggest, most elegant of the building I... <laughs> Bleh. I try to talk and then body says no. The biggest, most elegant of the buildings I can see from here. This, fame, this is Fay Manor, the place Maya calls home. It's easy to be overwhelmed by its presence. Maya lives in a mini mansion. Good for her. Well, I guess let's get moving. Meditation room. Fay Manor Meditation Room. 
Ah, Mr. Wright, I'm so glad you showed. Some nice weather we're having today. Aren't you happy? No, not at all. That stupid weather girl made the wrong call again. It will rain cats and dogs today, she said, with a straight face. I can't believe they allow such misguided reports on the public airwaves. Looks like talking about the weather with this guy is just asking for punishment. But anyway, this is a splendid matter. No arguments there. Hard to believe that this is Maya's house, though. I was given a guide map to this building. Here, Mr. Wright, I have a copy for you, too. Thank you, Mr. Gray. A diagram of Fay Manor. All right, so meditation room to the channeling chamber, winding way, and then the side room. Okay. <laughs> ah, Fame Manor guide map partial. Well, let's talk. Today's channeling. What are you going to do once the nurse's spirit has been called? Isn't it obvious? I'm going to have her write a signed confession. A signed confession? Yes, a confession. Pay attention. I'll have her write this. One year ago, on May 2nd, 14 patients died due to my negligence. And then on May 24th, I fell asleep at the wheel and died in a car accident due to my further negligence. I'm sorry, and I apologize for being negligent. That's what I'll have her write. With a confession, the rain falling on my soul can finally stop. Oh, I see. Maya. So, how did you hear about Maya Fay? I heard about her from an acquaintance, a girl studying the occult at the college. Studying the occult, eh? At a college, you say? That wouldn't happen to be Miss Lotta Hart, would it? That's the only person I could think of that would be, like, who would be into the occult, going to a college, and talk about Maya at all. That girl introduced me to this village. This is the home of the Curane School of Channeling. The home, huh? And Miss Maya is a daughter of the master, I hear. Master? Anyway, do you see that door? That's the room where people and spirits meet. Miss Maya's aunt is in there right now. Would you care to meet her? Well, first I'm gonna examine. A piece of cloth with a ton of finely written characters jammed onto it. Probably esoteric knowledge only mediums would know. Ah, uh, let's see. Here's one in English. It says, 100 ways to save money. Being a medium sounds like a rough way of life. <laughs> Dang it. No clues here. We aren't even looking for clues. This door leads out to the winding way. The weather outside looks really nice. Just making sure. Someone with a lot of skill wrote those four Chinese characters with a brush. Oh look, here's a translation. Once in a lifetime. Its message is people should value their ghostly meetings as once in a lifetime chances. The door that leads to the channeling chamber, the place where spirits and people meet. The iron on this door was tempered, making it very solid. It looks like there's a strong lock on this door to top it off. Hmm. But, I'm trying to think. Oh yeah! I, this reminds me, because I was reading, like, TV Tropes pages for the first game after I beat it, because I just, like, yeah, trivia, I guess. And apparently, because in this place I noticed, huh, this is a lot more Japanese than it has been in the past. And that reminded me of the trivia bit, that apparently, when it came to Phoenix Wright, Ace Attorney... They planned on only doing the first game as a jumping off point, and then they would translate the uh, Apollo series, the Apollo Justice games. I guess because they're like, hey, let's introduce the world with the first game. It doesn't have a lot of, like, uh, Japanese influences all that much. And then, like, apparently it, like, popped off so much, they're like, no, we must do all of them now. And because they tried to change it a bit to make it more like America that they were set in, like the game was set in, because the first game didn't have that much Japanese influence, then this all happened. Well, hmm. I'm gonna head down the winding way first. It says that I can go the winding way, so I shall go the winding way. There's a broken pot. Winding way. Wow, this garden is really breathtaking. Someone put a lot of love into it. What is that over there? 
Is that an incinerator? It looks a little out of place in a garden like this. It's a really old urn. The ashes of a person long dead are inside. It looks like something with a long history. Other than that, it's not very interesting, so time to move on. Don't tell me that's going to be important because you're just like, Oh, it's not important. Let's move on. It looks like there's a room over there, too. A peaceful feeling is emanating from it. It's a small incinerator. I don't think garbage trucks come all the way out here to tiny villages like this. So every family has to burn their own trash. A splendid garden with a small lamp and traditional decorations. It's a bit small to walk around in, although that incinerator piques my interest. And we already looked at it. It piques my interest. Well, let's go to the side room, why not? Huh. So this is the side room. Looks like it's more of a break room. There's bedding spread out on the floor. It looks like someone's sleeping in one. I shouldn't disturb them. Okay, now I'm interested. Is that someone sleeping in one over there? She's probably an exhausted medium taking a break and catching some Z's. If I wake her up, she might be grumpy and throw a spell on me. It's probably a good idea to not disturb her sleep. Okay, this is... I'm being weirded out. What is... Why is this feeling so... Weird? In a good way. It's a decorative wooden uh, bear statue. There's a plate attached to the base. Curing Village, the heart of channeling. What the... It's a souvenir! So does this mean it's easy to spot bears here? And for them to spot you? Well... It's a small alcove. I have no idea what's supposed to mean or symbolize. If I had one of these in my office, it would end up as a storage space. But here it's decorated with some pretty flowers and a beautiful hanging scroll. This is the first time I've seen a sliding door like this in person. From here I can see the winding way in a little garden in the courtyard. Okay, so that's interesting. There's somebody sleeping over here. I don't know. This just has a weird feeling to it. Candles! Candles galore! <laughs> wow, it's such a strange atmosphere in here. These flickering lights? I guess they're candles. Good sir, who might you be? Ah! I'm, uh, my name is Phoenix Wright. Oh, you must be that good sir. Good sir? Is she talking about me? You're a lawyer, are you not, good sir? I've heard much about you from Mystic Maya. Is that so? Mystic Maya? I am Mystic Maya's aunt, Morgan Fay. Ah, I get it. Nice to meet you. I'd wanted to speak with you about a certain incident, good sir. It would seem that perhaps you ask too much of Mystic Maya in performing your duties. Most unbecoming, I'm afraid. Huh? Don't tell me you've already forgotten. That was, that was it not for Mystic Maya and her assistance, you would surely not have won. First a girl that runs away, and now an old lady who says I stink at doing my job. When did I become the pos poster boy for how to not make a first good impression? The past is the past, though. Let us speak of the present now. Ah, thank you. <laughs> Very interesting. This folding screen is really showing its age. All of its edges are a bit tattered. The lettering is faded, too. I think I recognize a few of the characters on here. Kura-in. I'm pretty sure that's what it says. Maybe I'll ask Mai about it later. I guess this is an altar. Whatever it is, it feels very important. A mirror-like object with a cloudy reflective surface. And some branches of sacred tree have been set in a predetermined arrangement. Good sir, I would wonder if you'd please not touch the sacred objects. Those objects are being offered to the spirits. If you were to touch them, good sir, they would become cursed. Yes, cursed. <laughs> that implies that anything Phoenix touches becomes cursed. She really didn't have to talk down to me. I'm not that much of an idiot. Also interesting that we get to do the sliding again. <gasps> For this meditation room. This is where the medium sits, I assume. There are four panels on this flooring. The straw on the flooring feels a little damp, probably from the humidity in the air. The meditation room is on the other side of this very heavy-looking door. There's a giant iron lock where the handle is. It feels like a curtain that separates the normal world from the spirit one. Well, alright, let's talk. Maya. So, why do you add Mystic to Maya's name? Isn't that a little strange? 
good sir. Yes? How dare you be so rude and disrespectful towards Mystic Maya. I I'm sorry. She must be addressed by her proper title, good sir. You must call her Mystic Maya. Um, uh, so about Mystic Maya, uh, is, it is the... It is the blood. Excuse me? Blood? Mystic Maya carries the blood of the Master. In actuality, she's the only one remaining. Only one remaining? What's that supposed to mean? She's the last direct blood descendant, I guess. Like Mia of their mother. Mystic Mai is the last of the rightful heirs of the curing channeling technique. Okay, then where do you stand? That is a little more complicated. Although a woman of the Fae Clan, I am merely a member of the Branch family. Ah, great. We're getting like what? Ah, what's his name? We're getting Neji up in here. Branch family? What's that? It is as it sounds. For a member of the Branch family, no matter how her spiritual power, she can never become the master of the Kurang school. So, how strong are you? It is a shame, however I will admit. I cannot even begin to compare the lowliness of my power to the master's. So that's how it is. Today's channeling. So today's channeling will be her first? Yes, good sir. Because the spirit of a person who dies in a traffic accident is usually very strong. It is usually easier to call that person to our world. Why is that a thing? Why is it just like, ah, yes, traffic accidents. They're usually strong. Okay, sure. Traffic accident indeed. The channeling will take place here in this channeling chamber, good sir. As you can see, I am in the process of preparing. And the channeling chamber. So, this room is the channeling chamber. The place where a spirit medium who speaks with those who have departed. I don't suppose you'd mind if we observe the session? Do not even think of such nonsense. Only the medium and the client may enter here. Oh. The secrets of the curing techniques cannot be seen by just anybody. I never stopped Maya from doing it in front of me before. It is also for your safety, good sir, if something were to go wrong. That is why, while channeling is being performed, the heavy door is securely locked. Oh, that's what the lock is for. Oh, yes. I wonder if you have yet to meet Pearl, good sir. Pearl? She's an adorable, angelic young girl. Oh, that odd... She is my daughter. <laughs> now then, what was it you were about to say? What a cute daughter you have! <laughs> a pure heart that knows not of the evils of this world is a powerful thing, good sir. Please refrain from affiliating with her, I request. We are going to affiliate with her against our will, I assume. More than likely, Maya's gonna be taken in for prison stuff, and then Pearl will be like, I wanna help my cousin. Good God, I'm gonna have to do a voice for Pearl, aren't I? Well, it's not like I had the chance to anyway. I must insist and stress that you not let it occur. Okay, okay, I get it. And now I assume we go to the other place. Now we can go to the winding way, probably. Hey, you! Hold on now! This gal's got a few questions to ask! Hmm, I'm not sure I've heard... I'm sure I've heard that southern accent somewhere before. It's Lotta! Oh, well, I'll be! It's Mr. Phoenix Wright! How you been? Haven't seen you in, what, a year? Um, you are, uh... <laughs> lot of hair! Lot of heart! You're a lot of heart, right? Bingo! I'm the one and only paranormal photographer, lot of heart. Ah, so I guess you're still at it, being the photographer, I mean. Of course. And today I'm gonna get myself a real scoop. You wait and see. Ah, uh, that's right. This ain't no time to be wasting time. The channeling's about to get started. Is it that time already? We all should hurry up and get to the meditation room. What are you waiting around for? Come on! I didn't expect to see a lot of heart this early. A lot of heart, huh? I've been judging her harshly because of that case. But I guess looking back, we had some good times, too. Ah, yes. We had some good times, too. And, nope. Person's still here. June 19, Fame Mana Meditation Room. We will now begin the channeling. I guess before we continue, I guess I could just, like... Talk about things because there's a lot of talking for these characters, but yeah, this this case feels a little odd just because it's different 
We opened with a flash forward, and now we're filling in the gaps where we're, like, kind of directly involved. It's interesting. Also, a lot of heart came back. That's neat. And she's constantly drinking from a, a giant cup. Or at least it looks giant. Comparatively. It's just interesting. Also, for some reason, my brain is yelling at me that I haven't played Pokemon Mystery Dungeon in a while. I'll get to it. I was doing grinding for, like, level stuff. At first, it was like I was just taking, like, missions. But then I leveled up to Platinum rank, and I'm just like, hmm, I should probably uh, put that off a little bit. And so I went and did a bunch of grinding in the dojo. And then I, like, went up ten levels. And then I decided, you know what? I'm going to prepare for my excursion back into the buried ancient relic thing. And so I went to the solar cave to pick up keys. And as well as look into, like, I guess, because get keys. And then look and see what's needed for the ancient relic HMs. Because the game is a dick. And just because you get a key doesn't mean you always get the item behind it. Nah. Either that or, like, level up my Eevee's IQ until they can just go through everything, hopefully. Although I'm not sure how that works. Testing will need to be done. Baby bop But yeah, uh, while I was going through Solar Cave, I was just like, hey, let's go ahead and open up these things and see if there's anything inside. And I got, like, an HM or two, and now I've accidentally progressed the story. So next time we stream Pokemon Mystery Dungeon, we'll actually have plot progression! Because it's the post-game! <laughs> Ah, uh, well, now let's see how everything uh, terrible bad goes on here. Mystic Maya, an honored guest, please proceed into the channeling chamber. With this, I can finally swaddle those pesky flies once and for all. You hear me? They won't be able to say a single bad thing about me after this. You would love to hear them apologize, wouldn't you? Wouldn't you, Mr. Wright? Me? Oh, uh, yeah, I sure would. Mystic Maya, do you have the channeling chamber key? Yep, right here. That is most satisfactory. The key is one of a kind, so please take care of it. It'll be fine, Aunt Morgan. I won't lose it. Trust me. Okay, Dr. Gray. That rhymed. Let's get started. Finally. Let's go. He's gonna die in there, isn't he? Something's gonna happen. I wonder what is. Now let us wait patiently out here for them. Please, have some lo lovely bitter green tea and jaw-droppingly large strawberry de <laughs> And jaw-droppingly large strawberry desserts. Hold on now, Granny. Granny? How come we ain't allowed in that room? Dear Madam, you have an impressive grasp of English. From where did you learn it? What? I'm from the heart of the heartland. Is that so? Then I humbly request that you return to this heart of the heartland. You are cold, Miss Morgan. Wh what are you? This is Curaneville. If you cannot follow our traditions and rules, we request that you leave. Sorry. Wow, she shut up Lada. Now that's impressive. Now then, let us wait. Something bad's gonna happen. Who brought a gun? <laughs> Did Dr. Gray bring a gun? What the hell? Hey now, what was that just now? Came from inside the channeling chamber. A second one? That's a gunshot. Excuse me? The two gunshots again with a lot of heart. I've heard that sound before. It's a gunshot. I bet my afro on it. M Maya. Maya's in there. Time to break into the chamber. Well, Mr. Lawyer, what's the plan? What else? We're gonna break in. What? But, but there's only one key and that kid's got it. We're gonna have to break down the door. We're gonna have to break down the door. Is that all right, Miss Faye? Well, yes. But there is one matter. That is... Don't try and stop me. You can send a repair bill to the Rain Cool offices later. Yeah, now that's what I call being a man. Slam. Wow, he actually broke down the door. Phoenix is. D Dr. Gray! And photo. I. Oh, Jesus! 
That's not pretty. I was murdered. Maya? That man murdered me. So I killed him. What? And thank you, Lada, for ruining everything. Lada, at a time like this? Times like this are perfect for snapping up for snapping up shots. But anyway, what's going on here? This gal, is she Maya? Step away from there. Please leave this area to me. Go quickly and inform the police. But, but, hurry, before there are more victims here. Hey, let's go, city boy. Leave this to the granny. This is a... Uh, <laughs> I, I called it, I guess, but it's not like it was that hard to guess. The opening thing said I was murdered. I killed in revenge. Maya said that she killed somebody. Phoenix saying it wasn't actually her. But still, it is something to see. How did they get the gun? My cell phone doesn't get reception away out here. So I ended up using the phone booth to call the police. Hand... They're on their way. That's good. Bloody, I saw a genuine mysterious phenomena. She seems really on edge because of all this. Not that I blame her. I'm scared to death by what's going on. Again, why? Because obviously Gray had to have been the one to bring the gun. But what the fuck? What you witnessed? Hey, mister. That gal, Maya, she wasn't the one that pulled the trigger, was she? Oh yeah. Lana doesn't know when Maya's channeling, her whole physical appearance changes. And then again, weren't there only the two of them in there? I reckon she must have done it then. Dr. Gray, Lana, what do you know about Dr. Gray? Not much, but I did some digging. That's one gent with a bad reputation. Really? I hear he's good at surgery and stuff, but his personality stinks like wet sheep. I sort of got the same impression myself. He's real controlling. As soon as his nurses and patients don't do as he says, he starts a hollering. Must have been real rough for him, uh, rough to work for him. Whoa! This is kicking off, ain't it? Does every single game have the second case start with one of the Fey clan being involved with murder, either being the victim, being accused, or being? But once again, this does ruffle the timeline a bit, considering that Maya was in the previous case, and only now are we meeting again. I don't know. I probably should have paid attention to the timeline. Ah, uh, Mr. Wright. Miss Faye, how's, um, Mystic Maya? She has returned to this world. The spirit severing technique was successful. Let me see her, please. She is still unconscious. I humbly request that you wait outside for her recovery. I just have to wait. Uh. The police are here. Sorry to keep you waiting. Huh? You again? What are you doing all the way out here, Detective Gumshoe? It's actually kind of funny. I was in the area for a business trip, pal. Well, time to check out the crime scene. I'll have to question everyone here later on. So just sit tight, all right? Why is he grinning at me? Shall I show you the scene of the crime, Detective Gumshoe? Um, my name isn't... Oh, she said Jimshoe. I just assumed that it would be spelled correctly. My name isn't Jimshoe. Two of them went into the channeling chamber. I guess all I can do now is see what everyone else has to say. Let's go down the winding way. Because maybe that woke somebody up. June 19th, Fame Manor side room. I'm, I'm pretty sure there was someone sleeping here earlier. Like, how can I help you? The fuck? I'm going to assume that you are a mystic due to your, like, bangle and wrist thingy. But you're just weird. Ah, um, I'm, uh, that is, I... Um, like, so isn't it about time to start? Huh? Time to start what? You know, like the channeling. Channeling? Oh, 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 oh! No, actually, the situation has kind of changed. 
Huh? Like, what do you mean? Please stay calm, but there's been a murder. Um, so like, a murder is the thing where like, one person kills another, right? Yes! A person has killed another person! Oh, that's, uh... What are the words I'm looking for? It's like... Like, totally a bummer. Yeah. After all that effort, that's all she had to say? Oh, I'm sorry. I forgot to, like, introduce myself. My name is Eeny Me... Eeny Meeny? Eeny Meeny. Or is it Eeny Miny? That name was spoke... Was the nurse a fae? But where did the gun come from? <laughs> that's, I'm going to return to that a million times. Where did the gun come from? Where did the gun come from? How did they get a gun in there? Yeah. And you are suspicious for some reason. Eeny miny. Or eeny meeny. I don't, yeah. Um, at the college, I'm researching and studying a parapsychology. Parapsychology? That's right. Um, I think people, like, usually call it occult studies or something. Like, supernatural phenomena, ESP and psychic powers, that sort of stuff. Oh, you're the girl that the, talked to Dr. Gray. Did you set up Dr. Gray? Like, were you friends with the nurse that died and you decided to lead Dr. Gray to summoning her spirit so she could kill him? Is that what I am? That is what I am assuming happened here. It feels right somehow. You are acting way too weird. That's pretty out there. I'm Phoenix Wright, attorney at law. Who are you? Who are you? What is your relation here? Eeny meeny. So what brings you here today? Um, like so. I was the one who told Dr. Gray about this place. He asked me, like, do you do you know of a good spirit medium? Hmm, Dr. Gray did say something about being introduced to this place. And here I thought it was Lotta Hart, and Lotta Hart showed up, but it, Lotta Hart wasn't the one who told them. I don't even, I don't even. Because, like, talking to dead people and, like, multiple personalities are my thing. I see. And why were you taking a nap here? Like, I wasn't... Is the incinerator going to be important somehow? Ah. My brain is already overloading. Like I wasn't feeling good. Huh? I'm like allergic to sesame seeds. They like must have put something in the food they serve for lunch. Oh, that doesn't sound fun. So like I, I like felt sick and came in here to like sleep. I totally feel like I wasted my time because I like slept a long time. What happened? So you were sleeping here the entire time? Yeah, ever since lunch. So you don't know anything about the murder that took place? Like what? Oh bad. I like I totally know nothing. So who was like, you know, killed? The surgeon that requested the channeling, Dr. Gray. And she says nothing, doesn't even react. You and Dr. Gray knew each other, right? I don't know any Dr. Gray. Oh, really? Then what was all that talk about him earlier? Huh? Well, uh, like a long, long time ago. I was like a patient, yeah. She sounds like she's trying to hide something. I present to you a map! Like, I'm really sorry, but I'm not all that smart. So I don't, like, get it. Hmm, why does it feel like she's just putting on an act? What if I show you my badge? Darn. Yeah, you are weird, lady. You are weird. There's no one here, as usual. Ah! Hey, how are you? You're Pearl, right? Hmm, silent as ever. What's that she got in her hand? I've seen it somewhere before. What? Is there a second key? Do you have a second key? Um. What? What is it? Is it my hair? Is it too spiky? Not spiky enough? And she ran away. Did you go to the side room? Nope. Should I have asked about... She probably would have run away either... And now she's back. The item in your hand. 
Um. Damage, you ran away. Do I need to show you my badge? Do you need to know that I am official persons? Badge! And she runs anyway. Alright, I guess there's nothing I can do. Meditation room time. Uh, let's try and go to the channeling chamber. The police are busily running around here and there. And I don't see Maya anywhere. Hey, you! Don't touch anything! Look, I really need to ask you some questions. Um, don't look at me like I'm some sort of uncaring jerk. Tell you what, pal. I'll let you ask me a few questions, all right? Um, about Maya. I hate to break this to you, pal, but... With the way things look now, that girl's the only one who could have done it. Yeah, only Maya and the victim were inside this room, after all. But Maya is... Excuse me. <coughs> Ow! Oh! My grundle! I... You ever sneeze and then get like a muscle ache in your grundle? Oh, that's harsh. Oh, pain. Oh! Oh! Why must the body have violent reactions to itself? You can ask more about her later, pal. Right now, I've got a job to do, and that's collecting evidence. Detective Gumshoe looks like a real professional. And yet, something about his expression still looks the same. So, Dr. Gray was shot with a gun, huh? He was shot in the forehead. But... But? But he was also stabbed in the chest with a knife. A knife? Basically, the Vic was first stabbed, and then he was shot. That's... Whack. So he was stabbed and then shot, and I can't examine, all right? It's you again. Um, and then she runs away. Can I look at the, in nope, because hmm. the incinerator has to play a part. Everything is wacky, everything is wonky. What the hell is going on? What the hell is going on? Probably scared out of her wits after having a murder take place right in front of her. Lada? God, don't let it be! Don't let me be next! Ah, don't scare me like that! What do you mean? You're the one scaring me! If I weren't so tough, you'd have another dead body on your hands. Mine! Did you see or notice anything that stuck out to you? Nah, well, maybe one thing. What is it? Turns out my poor stomach's not good at handling this kind of thing. Ah, uh, what? Curses and ghosts and stuff coming back to get you? This is a bit just too much, I say. What is too much? Being a cult photographer. That's some scary stuff, so I think I'm gonna try being a celebrity photographer now. Going after photos of more with it more within your reach from now on, eh? More glamour, less gore. What's up? Oh yeah! What is it? I took some hot pictures earlier. Huh? Remember? I took some pictures at the murder scene inside. Ah, she did! Two, even! The seance murder. I sure like the ring of that. It'll be a sensational story. Lotta! Sorry, but my journalistic sense is burning inside me. Hate to cut and run, but I'm heading back in. Gotta beat those cops to the scoop of the century. Why? <laughs> Why is everyone insane? I don't know who's scarier. Lotta or the spirits? Why does it feel like we've been through this before? Oh, dear madam, you have such an impeccable timing. Like, what's all the buzz? Hmm. <clears throat> all right, everyone, listen up. You too, pal. I'm going to give you all a brief update. Right now, it looks like the investigation's not going to be done until real late. That is a terrible shame. I propose that everyone sleep here under the roof of the Fay Manor tonight. <laughs> ah, so the ghosts can get us. What a mess. I can't believe how crazy this day turned out. Maya was arrested and taken away by the police. I don't see myself getting any sleep tonight. How did Pearl have the, the lock key, though? Ah, uh, morning, I guess. 
I must have nodded off at some point. I hope Maya's okay. I should hurry and get to the detention center ASAP. Well, we did get her ASAP. And were we not questioned by Gumshoe? N Nick! Nick! I... Maya! What am I going to do? I never imagined it would turn out like this. Calm down, Maya. Take deep breaths. Come to think of it, the first time I met her, it all started right here in this detention center. Technically, you first met her back at the, uh, Fay and Co. law offices. But she, like, passed out soon after. I finally... I finally get to see you again, and... It's not your fault. You didn't do it. No, I... I did it. I killed that person. But that wasn't you. <clears throat> it doesn't matter. It might as well have been me. I was too weak, and I... I couldn't control the spirit's power, so... I don't want to bring up the case quite yet, but... You don't have to be nice to me. I understand. So you're the master or something of the Kirain School of Channeling? Actually, my mother is for now. But since that title is passed from mother to daughter, I guess I will be someday. But many people think that channeling isn't real, that it's all just an act. You believe in us, don't you? Yeah, because I've seen it with my own eyes. But Maya's channeling a spirit. Not her only her voice, but her whole physical appearance changes. It's a supernatural phenomenon that occurs every time. Just like that horror show. It happened this time, too. Dr. Gray said that he wanted to call the nurse, so... Maya's body must have taken on that nurse's appearance. What exactly happened in the channeling chamber? I went into that room with Dr. Gray, locked the door, and sat down across from him. Okay. We closed our eyes and I began the channeling. Sounding kind of creepy, like the beginning of a scary story. And that's the last thing I remember. What? After a spirit comes into my body, I lose myself. My consciousness. You don't remember a single thing? When I came to, I was being held in my aunt's arms. And there was blood all over my clothes. Hmm. Oh, but I do remember having a dream. A dream? Dream. What kind of dream did you have while you were channeling? Um, I can't remember it all that well, but I was dead and buried in the ground. I couldn't move, and it was unbearable, really suffocating. It went something like that. I... I see. I have no idea what to say to that. It was a really familiar smell, too. Under the ground? Yeah, I can't quite place it. I know I've smelled that same scent before. I guess this is about all the information I'm going to get and gather for today. I'll be back later, Maya. In the meantime, please make sure you're pre you prepare it, okay? Huh? It? What is it? The document requesting me to be your attorney, of course. I'm gonna get you off! Off the hook, that is! But... What's wrong? Are you sure? I mean, I'm guilty! I'm a murderer! No one's decided that yet. But I did! I killed that person with these two hands! That's enough, Maya. It's hopeless! If you defend me, you'll lose! I'm sure! Stop it! Help me. Nick, help me. I'm scared. Don't worry, I will. When's the trial? It sounds like tomorrow. As usual, zero prep time. Alright, I'm going now. Wait. This jewel. This jewel is called a Magatama. It's a magical charm and it's always protected me. Give this to Pearly, and I'm sure she'll lend you her spiritual powers. Slightly translucent, but small, but it has a deep, profound aura about it. Well, off I go to Kurain Village. What madness. I have to save, save Maya, no matter what. It's her life on the line. What in the world happened in that room yesterday? Okay, it's gotta involve Eeny Meeny. It's gotta involve maybe Pearl having that secondary key or whatever. Even though they said, oh yeah, there's only one, but Pearl had the key. But at the same time, Morgan got into the room with diddly dee 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 dee. And, like, again, the incinerator has to be important. Something happened. The meditation room nurtures all mediums, young and old. Even mediums in training, I'd wager. But it's pretty deserted today. 
Probably because of the murder yesterday. Let's first check out the scene of the crime. It looks like Detective Gumshoe isn't here today. I should take this chance and thoroughly check out this room. If I'm lucky, I might uncover a clue or two. Hey, Morgan! Oh, Mr. Wright. Good morning. I'm on my way to meet Mystic Maya, and I thought to bring her some items to make her feel more at home. Namely, tea so better you lose your tongue and jaw-droppingly large strawberry desserts. I'm sure Maya will be very grateful. That's Mystic Maya, good sir! Uh, she's one scary lady. Oh, dear, sweet Mystic Maya. Pearl wept constantly for you last night, as did I. I know it's important for me to search the site. I should ask her some questions, too, while I have the chance. Then maybe show her the Magatama. But first, let's show Magatama. Oh my. W what is it? That, that is Mystic Maya's Magatama. Why do you have this in your possession? I'm sorry. Return it to Mystic Maya at once. Yes, madam. Why did it feel like I was being scolded by my own mother just now? All right, that's an interesting interaction. I'd like to ask you a few questions about what happened yesterday. Do you mean that awful tragedy? That man murdered me. So I killed him. Maya? Step away! Step away from there! Please leave this area to me. Go quickly and inform the police. What happened? What happened here in this room after I left? Well, first I struck Mystic Maya on the head. Make her go unconscious, correct? That is correct. Next I performed the spirit severing technique. Spirit severing technique? The spirit of that nurse was inside of Mystic Maya's body. I used the technique to send the nurse's spirit back to the other world. One of this kind of testimony is even admissible in a court of law. By the way, what is this room exactly? The channeling chamber. This room was created for the sole purpose of preventing such a tragedy as yesterday. What do you mean? Sometimes, when an inexperienced medium calls an especially strong spirit, that spirit may become violent and revolt as you witnessed yesterday. Revolt? But how? When a spirit enters a medium's body, she loses her will and herself steps aside. To put it another way, the spirit is borrowing the medium's body, good sir. But isn't that extremely dangerous? An experienced medium has little problem controlling the spirit. But Maya, I mean, Mystic Maya, that was her first channeling. And that was why I insisted on locking the door. However, I never thought that it would be calling danger upon the client himself. Because she thought it was just a car accident. She didn't know that there was more to it. I am grateful that one of our heirlooms is not damaged in this horrible act. And that would be? The folding screen there. It is the Curane's sacred writings. Along with the Curane's sacred urn. They are the village's most treasured possessions. But the urn was shattered and put back together. If I ever found out that something had happened to either one. Oh, the humanity. Odd for her to be worrying about the folding screen at a time like this. I guess this isn't just some dilapidated old screen after all. So, how is Pearl today? Mr. Wright? Yes? In this world, Pearl is my most treasured possession. When compared to even Mystic Maya, Pearl has the spiritual power to become a master. That's very impressive. Until now, the women of the Branch family have thought themselves to be inferior. But Pearl is different. Her spiritual strength is so great, it's even greater than some of the main family. Yes, Pearl is a channeling prodigy and the pride of the Branch family. Well, she's really fired up now. In any case, our world is so different from yours, perhaps it is best for you to quit, good sir. Quit? Quit what? And she doesn't even say anything. She just says quit. Alter, very important. Mirror, some branches. I guess they're used for doing the channeling. It's a beautiful, expensive folding screen. There's going to be some sort of sacred writing. Th this is... It's a hole! Could this have been made by a bullet? Hmm. So did somebody shoot from behind the room? About eight inches off the ground is a small hole that looks like a bullet hole. Well then, I do believe it is time for me to take my leave. All right. Please tell my I said hi. What was that? Uh, I mean Mystic Maya. I will tell her. 
Why is she so determined? And of course, blood. This is where the medium sits, I assume. There are four panels on the flooring. No matter what I do, my eyes keep getting drawn to the pool of blood at the center here. But yeah, this is already being in an interesting thing. I It has to be Eeny Meeny. It has to be. She was back there, and the incinerator is probably where she got rid of the gun. Little Pearl isn't here today. Maybe she's at school. Nothing new there. Oh, hey, they did the thing! If there's nothing new, it's just not added again! Ah, ha, ha, it's what I love about life! It is what I have always wanted! <laughs> Is that giant block new? Oh, hi. Like, you're that guy from yesterday. The dentist guy. Nope, no. I'm a lawyer. That's right. Um, Mr. Smith Esquire? That's right. Wait, I mean, you're wrong. My name is right. Smith, right. Well, I got like three letters at least. I don't think she gets the point. Anyway, why are you here? So like, I studied this thing. Oh, no. Why are you here? Phoenix said that. So, like, I studied this thing called parapsychology at this college, and, um, you told me about that yesterday, so sesame allergy, too. What I'd really like to know is why you're still here today. Oh, so, like, that's what you meant. Like, you should have been more, like, clear about it. Sorry, my bad. No, it's okay. Like, it's really... That's it? Why'd you stop mid-sentence? Did I? So, like, what was I talking about again? Do you have multiple personalities? As in Hollywood multiple personalities, because that obviously wouldn't work like that in reality. If Lada ever wanted another genuine mysterious phenomenon, it's right here. Eeny meeny. So, why are you still here today? Like, there's so much for me to, like, study here. Like what? Like the medium's training, or like how they inherit their spiritual power. I suppose this village is the real thing, after all. So, like, I asked if I could stay here for, like, a little longer. She sure seems to like the carefree type, at least on the surface. Have you heard about the murder? It's, like, it's totally scary. She says, with a silly smile plastered on her face. So, do you know anything about that? About it that might help? Somehow I don't think she has a grip on reality, let alone what's going on here. About the victim, Dr. Gray. I don't know who you're talking about. Like, wait, I think you asked about him, like, yesterday, too? That's right. The reaction yesterday when I asked was... <laughs> Yay, more flashbacking! You and Dr. Gray knew each other, right? And then she freaked out. I don't know any Dr. Gray. Oh, really? Then what was all that talk about him earlier? Huh? Well, uh, like, uh, a long, long time ago, I, I was, like, a patient, yeah? Okay, she's definitely hiding something from me. Like, is something wrong? Would you take a look at this, uh, Magatama? Wow, it's a Magatama. Ah, uh, you shouldn't have. It's totally not for you. Hey, like, it's not nice to freak me out like that. That should be my line. Like, I'm really sorry, but uh, I know, like, you totally had your heart set on it, but I can't, like, take it. Who said anything about giving this to you? I can't even give you the whole folding screen, lady! Let me guess, is she here? It's Pearl! Ah! You surprised me! And how are you today? Hmm, I guess she isn't open to friendly chatting. Huh? She's still holding something in her hand. Looks like the same thing she had yesterday. Well, Maya said to give this to you. Oh yeah, Maya said to give this to you. And she's crying now. Ah! I'm in trouble now! If more confuses like this, I'll be the next one they're channeling! That's... that's Mystic Maya's. Huh? She actually spoke! Who are you? I'm Phoenix Wright. I have uh, worked with Maya. You worked with Mystic Maya? You... You're Mr. Nick, right? Uh, excuse me? I, but I know who she picked Nick up from. I know who you are. You're... You're Mystic Maya's special sum. 
What? So then, of course, you're going to help Mystic Maya, aren't you? That's what you're going to do, right? Well, yeah, I will. Oh, wow, it's like a beautiful fairy tale. That earnest look shining brightly in your eyes. It must be true love. What? Why am I being boiled into a bright red lobster by this little kid? I'm so jealous of Mystic Maya. Ah, oh, what a wonderful relationship. Wait, wait, I, uh, I mean, we are, things aren't like... <laughs> I can tell you're a good person. All right, Mr. Nick. I may be small, but I'm going to help you in any way I can. Well, now we have another Mystic Medium on our side. And honestly, she's adorable. If anything were to happen to Pearl, I would kill everyone in this room and then myself. Pearl, are you friends of Maya? I feel very grateful to be friends with her. She's so great. I want to be like Mystic Maya when I grow up. I really love. I really look up to her. Wow, I had no idea Maya was so revered. Usually, when people don't use Mystic Maya's title, I get mad. Uh, oh, sorry. But if it's you, Mr. Nick, then it's okay, because. Because you're special to her. Where in the world did she get that idea like that? By the way, this may be rude, but which channeling school are you from? Which channeling school? Yeah, for example, I studied the curing technique. Ah, I get it. No, no, I'm a lawyer. A lawyer. Lawyer? Yep. Is that related to spirit mediums in any way? Um, none that I know of. Wait, are you telling me you don't know what a lawyer is? I'm sorry, but I have no idea. Maya did say Pearl doesn't know much about the outside world. So what's that you've got there, Pearl? Oh, this? I found it yesterday. Hmm. If you want it, I can give it to you. I'll take it. All right, well, if you really want to give it to me. <laughs> you look like a child at a toy store, Mr. Nick. She not only speaks in a refined manner, but laughs in one too. Black key, an old style key. Old steel key. A green jewel is set in the center of the key's grip. Um, Mr. Nick? Yes, Pearl. Pearls? I can call you that, right? You're too cute to just call you Pearl. Sure, Mr. Nick. Um, are you sure it's okay for me to have this Magatama? Yeah, it's okay. I was told to give it to you. But I can't accept something like this. All I really should do is charge this Magatama with spiritual energy. Spiritual energy? Please take this. I'm sure it'll be helpful. What do you mean? It'll let you see people's secrets. Ah! Is this that lock thing? That psych lock thing that I heard about? That's one of the other things that was like just floating out the back of my head. I think because of the My Little Pony fan game, I think? Or was it just fan animation? Well, fan animation, but essentially telling this a kind of Phoenix Wright story using Phoenix Wright, set in Equestria, using sprites and stuff, and game mechanics. I don't think it was an actual game. Somebody might have made it into a game, I don't know. But one thing I do remember from that was when questioning some people, like, chains and locks appear, and you can, like, break them down somehow. See people's secrets. Yeah. If it's alright with you, I would like to accompany you for a little while. I can explain the Magatama's power to you when we meet someone hiding a secret. Well, I now have a super ally on my side. Let's see if we can bully the lady. Hello again. We seem to be seeing a lot of each other today. Aw, she's like totally cute. Is she like your daughter? What? No! How old do you think I am? I want to ask you about the victim, Dr. Gray. I, like, I totally don't know him. Oh, that's horrifying. Ah! What's that? You can see it, can't you, Mr. Nick? You can, you can see the lock on that person's heart. Huh, what? This is the power of the Magatama. Only you can see those psych locks, Mr. Nick. This is it. It is a thing. It is horrifying, but grand. Psych huh? The more someone wants to hide their secret, the more locks you'll see. If it's only one, I think you can easily unlock it. If you can see it, I think you can easily unlock it. Unlock? But how? Please use Mystic Maya's Megatama on this person. 
and let's remove that lock. I need to find a good voice for you. Please use it. I need to tie another bit. Because I don't want to do a super high-pitched voice because Fear just sounds weird. Well, at the same time, maybe not. I don't know. I'll play with it. I have no idea what she's talking about, but I guess I'll give it a try. You must be careful, though, Mr. Nick. If you make a mistake, it will hurt you. If you don't think you have the proof you need, you must have the courage to stop. Well, I've got to start somewhere. Let's give this a cyclock thing a try. Oh, that's cool. So, this is interesting. I guess this is kind of like outside of court presentation of things. I'm going to ask you again. Did you know him, Dr. Gray? I totally don't know that guy. Like, you're totally more persistent than a roach. And then the locks come out to play. This girl is hiding something. I'm sure of it. I guess I have no choice but to remove this lock. All right, so first I have to use Maya's Magatama. All right, that's interesting. So I guess maybe I can just go into here. Nope. So I guess I have to go into present. Present! Ha <laughs> ha! Take that! I channel spiritual energies at you. The victim. It's a testimony outside of court! Eeny meeny. I believe you do know who Dr. Gray is. I told you, like, how many times do I, like, have to repeat myself? If you're, like, so totally sure, then where's, like, your proof? While it may be possible that you never actually met Dr. Gray in person, I do believe you might have at least indirectly known of him. Like, what do you mean, like, indirectly? I should try where the possibility existed for now. Hmm. So something that shows a possible connection between Eni. But I don't have any evidence. Profiles! I can present profiles! Hmm. I'm trying to think, though. Which one would I do? Her own, maybe? I should investigate and gather some more clues. I wanted to... Okay. Because I'm super paranoid now. Because... <sighs> Let me go over the things that I have. Because I got the map from Dr. Gray. But that doesn't prove anything for her relation. Let's try again. And we'll try and present some stuff. Because it surely has to be the profiles, right? That you've indirectly known of him. Maybe present. Here's your proof. Like, what is that? Ouch. I guess it doesn't have anything to do with it, huh? Rose did warn me. Hmm, but... If I don't have enough evidence... But she also said that she said if there's only one lock, I believe that you have enough to... Hmm. But maybe I didn't find it? But I don't know. Meh. Yeah, because that's the thing. Because that's the thing, the game led me, has led me to believe that I do have the necessary, like, information. Yeah, I believe you might have at least indirectly known of him. Hmm. Because again, that's the thing. The game has led me to believe that I should have all I need because it's one lock, but blah. So yeah, the game is just kind of annoying me a little there. Pearl, you led me astray. You said that I should have all that I need to unlock that lock, but I guess not for now. How dare you? That's ever so slightly annoying.
Because that's what led me to believe that I should have what I need. But nothing here is tied to Dr. Gray. Like, nothing related to Eenie Meenie or Dr. Gray. So I thought maybe it's the profiles. I do not know. Things are weird. Again, why would the game say, I think you can do it when I obviously cannot? How dare you, game. Maybe the game expected me to come back this way. But obviously, since we went to Eenie Meenie first and has built up, Hey, she knows, see, she has something, a secret. And then you leave, you meet Pearl, you get the magical detect secret thing. Obviously, you're going to go back. I think that's a little weird. Hey, it's you, pal. So you're gonna be a lawyer, I bet. Yes. Oh, I really feel bad for you, pal. Just as once, I wish I could be on your side. Detective Gumshoe. Yeah, but I shouldn't be saying that kind of stuff to you. Hey, you're a cute kid. <laughs> I'm not scary. Honest. Wow, I never knew Gumshoe liked kids. Hey, I know. I'll show you something cool. How's this? It's a real genuine pistol. Detective Gumshoe! What are you doing showing her something that dangerous? Oh, sorry. Maya's guilt. What about Maya and the charges against her? I don't think you can win, pal. If you're talking about proof, we've got a few pieces. You've got proof? Yeah, pal. The puffy head, uh, photograph, photographer is going to testify tomorrow. You must be talking about Lada. Actually, speaking of Lada, she has two photos. I took some hot pictures earlier. Huh? Remember, I took some pictures at the murder scene inside. Lotta's hot pictures. I wonder what her camera captured. Besides, you must have realized by now, pal. There's no way anyone other than Maya Faye could have done it. What am I supposed to say to Pearls now? The victim. About Dr. Gray. The victim wasn't super famous, but people still knew who he was. His face was all over those tabloid shows last year. Yeah, I know. I was looking through some newspapers from last year, and... Ah, uh, I could have sworn I had... I got an article out, but I, I guess I must have lost it. He's searching through his pockets, and boy are those big. Mm, it looked really interesting, too. Hey, do you have a copy, pal? A copy of that article? I think Dr. Gray might have brought, brought a copy to the office when he came by. Okay, that's a hint. Go back to the office and grab the article. About Maya's trial tomorrow. I've got two pieces of news for you, pal. Two? Yeah, bad news and even worse news. So which do you want to hear first? I don't really care. It doesn't change the fact that I'm not going to like it. All right, pal. Well, the prosecutor for the trial is Prosecutor Von Karma. He, but I thought he was dead. What? Von Karma? Manfred Von Karma. He was an awe-inspiring veteran prosecutor. He never lost a case in the 40 years of his career, and he raised a fearsome discipline. That horrible aftertaste of evil he force-fed me is something I'll never forget. Wait a sec. But didn't Von Karma stand trial and... That's where the other piece of bad news comes in. The Von Karma you're facing tomorrow is actually his successor. Oh boy. Successor? So, um, who is this successor to Von Karma? Literally, pal. It's Prosecutor Von Karma's kid. His kid became a prosecutor real young, like 13, and hasn't lost a trial since. That's what they call a prodigy, pal. Ah, <sighs> kid, huh? But wait a sec! 13? The kid became a prosecutor at the age of 13! I mean, a prodigy like that? I would have heard something about... Oh, no, no. The kid was born and raised in Germany, pal. That country's got a lot of stuff and is a great place to develop a person's talents. Germany, huh? That's probably why I've never heard of this person. Uh, still, all it takes is someone mentioning the name Von Karma. And I get terrible flashbacks to that case. Stop it! Get a grip on yourself, Phoenix. None of that matters anymore, now that he's gone. What if I... Magatama! What do you think about this? Hey, that's a pretty nice looking brooch! You should stop wearing that ugly old attorney's badge! And stop wearing that, pal! <laughs> that detective is so nice! Aren't you happy, Mr. Nick? Happy? About what? <laughs> oh, but I have proof a gun went off in there! Oh, I'd better shut my mouth! 
Uh, what? I'm not gonna give you any information about evidence, pal. Oh. Rude. Well, I guess let's go to my office. So that we can uh, get information. Get that article. I wonder if Pearl is with me. I don't think so. <sighs> it feels like I've been gone forever. It's only been one day. Oh, that's right. Where's that newspaper Dr. Gray brought the other day? Ah, here it is. Right on the top of my desk. This is the only thing he left behind that's going on, that's going to give me any help. And now I need to head back. So that I can beat up that weird hippie lady. With facts and logic. Well, first I'm gonna save, just in case he wants to steal my article. But hey, you wanted an article? I have an article. Um, Dr. Gray brought this over to my office the other day, and... Hey! It's that news story! The one about the malpractice suit! Fourteen patients died and it caused a huge stink. Yeah, but that's not all, pal. Things only got worse after that. You mean the car accident the nurse died in? Hmm. Ah, here we go! I brought my own clipping with me today. Here, yeah, pal, this is for you. All right, thanks. Mimi Miney. That's the evidence I need to smash in that lady's face. Nothing else, let's go beat her face in. How dare you lie to me? I went the wrong way, I'm a whore. I'm going all over the place! I'm a moron! I don't know why, the movement mechanics, like my brain feels like, I don't know, maybe, I don't know, it just feels weird. It feels very weird. All right, time to uh, bash your face in. Again, I feel it's a little odd that Pearl would say, I think you should be able to do it now. Or at least that's the vibe I got from what she said. All right, you might have indirectly known him because your sister died. Take a look at this newspaper clipping. Like, what is it? A story about an accident? Please read the victim's name. Um, Mimi Miney. Miney is a pretty rare last name, wouldn't you say? Miss Mimi Miney wouldn't happen to be a relative of yours, would she? So you noticed. She was my older sister. I'm sorry about your loss. Your sister? Was she a nurse? Perhaps at Dr. Gray's surgical clinic. Gray Surgical Clinic. I don't think I need to tell you that the clinic was run by the victim, Dr. Turner Gray. Which is how you knew of Dr. Gray. You knew him through your sister. Okay, that's cool. I probably should have known that I didn't have the evidence needed, but still. I like this. It adds gameplay outside of court. Please, tell me all you know about Dr. Gray. My... my sister's name was Mimi Miney. She was like a nurse at Dr. Gray's clinic. That's what I thought. I heard that, like, Dr. Gray was really tough on people. Like, a total slave driver. My sis was, like, always coming home totally wiped out because she was overworked. Wiped out? So that was why she fell asleep at the wheel? That guy, like, drove my sis so hard, so, like, that's why the accident happened. The one where 14 patients died after malpractice? Yeah, like, I think that was the doctor's fault, too. My sis was pushed by, like, everyone's expectations and, like, her duties and stuff. And that pushed her to her death. Oh, I'm sorry. So, like, are we done? I've, like, already told you my story to, like, everyone. You understand now, Mr. Nick? This is how a psych lock works. I don't plan to pry into people's hearts unless I absolutely need to. The lock this time was pretty easy, but... You might meet people who aren't as willing to give in later on. If you don't have enough proof, be careful and know when to stop trying. So I'm guessing that psych locks require one piece of evidence per lock. And if there are multiple locks like that image that I saw a while back that made me know about the ooh, mystic lock thingies, then I assume there can be like super locks and you need to really hammer that home. But again, the urn has been shattered, and there is an incinerator. I believe that Eeny Me- like, yeah, Eeny Meeny is the one who killed the doctor. 
That is my thought, at least. Mm, I don't think there's anything else in here. I didn't even notice the gun hole. But I... Oh, did this change? Apparently. <laughs> ah, the, the lock is broken because... Well, I broke it. It doesn't seem possible, but I managed to break it pretty badly. When you want to do something bad enough, people can do the most amazing things. And that's why Phoenix Wright is in Marvel vs. Capcom. He's a badass. Mr. Nick? Hmm, what's wrong? I've never left Kirin Village before. Really? Wow, that's um, pretty amazing. You're going to meet with Mystic Maya, aren't you? Please tell her I said hi. Hey, wait! She ran off, again. Well, I know Eni's secret now, but I still don't have any idea how I'm going to save Maya. I don't even know if I should go in there with a smile or a straight face. Uh. So, did Morgan come by, Maya? What am I supposed to do? I'm almost out of time! Can I really do anything? Can I really save her? Sorry to keep you waiting. Huh? Must be Maya. It's been a long time, hasn't it, Phoenix? That voice. Oh! I thought it was gonna be Edgeworth. Mia! Even without, even without me being here, it looks like you've learned to stand on your own. Just throwing everything at us, huh? And nobody is like, uh, not ter uh, it, it, we have a case thirteen five. The uh, the mystic has uh, changed appearance. Mia, she's Maya's older sister and my mentor. And she's dead. She was a top notch defense lawyer, but a certain case forced her into retirement. But whenever I'm in trouble, she comes to help just like this. Honestly, I, I didn't expect this. Her spirit comes back from the other world and borrows Maya's body for a bit. With huge tits for some reason. Phoenix, you can make that kind of face in front of your client. A lawyer is someone who smiles no matter how bad it gets. And especially when it's bad. Mia, you can't smile at that at the end if you haven't been smiling the whole way there. In any case, the face you're making now is no face to show a client, Phoenix. But... So, tell me all about it. I'm gonna guess that my sister is in a lot of trouble again. Yeah, she summoned a spirit. She shot a guy, apparently. Somehow. They never found a gun. Like, that's the thing. Ah, oh, he was stabbed and then shot in the head. WHERE DID THE GUN COME FROM?! I told her everything about what happened in the last two days. Because that's the thing. If they don't have a fucking gun, how can they say that she killed him if they don't have a gun?! They better present that gun, or I'm gonna be mad! Mm. Mia closed her eyes, deep in thought, while she listened. I see. Mia, what am I supposed to do? It's pretty clear what a good lawyer does in this situation. And what is that? Tell me, please! Believe in your convictions. And fight for the complete acquittal of your client. Hey, look at this. This is Maya's Magatama, isn't it? Why do you have it? Maya gave it to me, but... I see. This is something very important to me. Take good care of it, okay? She's looking at it with a soft look in her eyes. I just wanted to see what she would say. You think Maya's not guilty? How can you be so sure? I know she is, and I'll give you a hint as to why. Yes? Mediums can't have dreams. They can't? From what you told me, it sounds like Maya was having a dream while channeling. Yeah, she said she dreamt that she had died and had been buried in the ground. But that is impossible. You've heard it from her, I'm sure. When a medium chan channels, her own spirit disappears. Which means that it's impossible for her to dream during that time. Then, what does this mean? I think it's safe to bet that Maya was set up. A set up? It's up to you to blow the lid on this case tomorrow and show how she was set up. Hmm. Is there like a second door behind the spirit place? And somebody went in while the spirit was channeling? 
stabbed, but then how would she dream? I'm very confused. And that would also mean that more... No. Could it have been that Eeny Meeny wanted revenge, but she didn't know how to get it? And Morgan... Eeny Meeny went to the Curane Village to learn more about parapsychology and occult stuff. She meets Morgan. Morgan has, a, like, a issues with the main family because she's branch family and she loves Pearl so much that she talks Eeny Meeny into setting up Dr. Gray. She tells Dr. Gray that he can channel the spirit of the nurse into a spirit medium and get, like, and, like, get the lowdown of what happened and clear his name. But instead, while the spirit is channeling Maya... Like, because again, that second key, like, I, again, I think second key, Pearl got that key somehow. And then Eeny Meeny comes in. Eeny Meeny was already there. No. Wait. Something is very weird again. Again. Because somebody had to have been behind the sacred, like, folded thing to then be able to shoot the gun. So it was a super setup, I think. I think it involves the spirit and her saying, I murdered him, was trying to cover up Eeny Meeny or Morgan. Morgan obviously was outside. I think, but again, it has to do with the key. And Eeny Meeny was obviously outside during all that, I think. But again, we, couldn't, we can't see, like, hmm, because the winding path... Something hinky is going on, and I don't know what. But I think I have the suspects nailed down. Morgan and Eni work together to set up Maya to take down, like, because Eni Meenie would have wanted revenge on her sister's behalf. And maybe even she had a channeling session with somebody. Maybe Morgan. Who knows? Maybe Pearl? And they talked to the nurse, and that would be why the nurse knew what would go down and take cl stake claim on the murder. Because I think Eeny Meeny would have been the one to shoot the gun through the sacred folding screen to kill Dr. Gray. But what what is that with a stab and a shot? Ugh, it's so wacky. But yeah, I think Morgan worked with Eeny Meeny. Eeny Meeny wanted revenge on her sister, and Morgan wanted... Uh, Maya out of the picture so that Pearl could then become the head of the family now. Because oh no, we have no idea where Maya's mother is and Maya herself is a criminal. Obviously the Branch family will have to take over. Pearl is obviously super powerful. I think that's what's going on. I think that's what's going on. Maybe. How am I supposed to prove her innocence when I have nothing to go on? If you're looking for a clue, it's already in your hands. It is? Just as it sounds, Phoenix. You already hold the key. Really? Come on, show me the key to this case. The key, huh? All right, I'll show you the, her the key. Hold on. This key. Mia, have you seen this key before? Ah, the key. It's literally the key to understanding everything that's happened in this case. This key? Phoenix, listen. Right now, that key is sitting in your hand. However, it shouldn't be. It contradicts the facts, because there's supposed to be only one key to the meditation room. What does she mean? I'm certain this key will be the piece of evidence that makes your case tomorrow. You already know everything you need to know. You know what that key is to the case is. That is enough. But, but, how can I win tomorrow without knowing who the real murderer is? Who, who could have... Eeny Meeny or Morgan. I didn't know it at the time. This day was going to end with a turn for the surprising. <laughs> what? What? Mia? What? What's wrong? That's right. 
only I can see the side blocks. Which means Mia must know something about the real murderer. But for this to be something that she would hide under lock and key from even me, what in the world is going on? Do I get a chance to lo unlock some stuff? Nope. Yeah, this is, uh, that was almost two hours of just, uh, granted some of that was done because I was an idiot and thought that the game wouldn't lie to me at the, at the start there and be like, Oh, hey, you can do this one lock thing immediately, huh? Woo! What? Prosecutor Von Karma, you mean? No, I heard it's his, his successor this time. Successor? Manfred, but Karma was a really sinister man. He pulled all sorts of nasty tricks. Also, he could win. He was a man obsessed with the word perfection. He had a perfect record for 40 long years. Who knows what sorts of dirty tricks he used to get each and every one of those guilty verdicts. And now his successor. I wonder what kind of person they will turn out to be. I had to take a deep drink of water there because I'm going insane. Ugh. It's no good. Mystic Maya! Mystic Maya! Pearly! You showed up! Thanks for coming all this way. I was really worried about you. Hey, where's your mother? Didn't you two come together? Mother's watching over the trainees. She said they have training for two days straight with no breaks. Huh? Then, then you came all by yourself? Yep, I snuck out of the manor and followed a map. Don't tell me you walked all the way here. Of course not! I ran! That's... I can't... Oh my! If it takes two hours on train, oh man! Pearly, what about the train? Huh? What's a tray in? I give up. It's time, isn't it? Um, I'm really scared. What if Von Karma tries to do something to me? At least I know Mr. Edgeworth would be nicer to me than Von Karma. Mr. Edgeworth? Who is that? Um, he's Nick's rival. Well, he's also a friend. <laughs> I thought he would have actually been there saying objection to that fact. That would be hilarious. I still remember him as though I'd only seen him yesterday. <laughs> Every trial was a scorchingly fierce battle until the very end. <laughs> it was always back and forth with them. When your rivals for life... Maya! Please don't mention that name ever again. Huh? But why, Nick? I'm... I'm sorry, Maya. I forgot you don't know. He... He's... He's gone. And he's not... Bullshit! I know that he is a... I know Edgeworth is important. Who the fuck you lied to, Phoenix? You lied to me? Where's your side clock? Nah. What? Wait, wait a second. What's that supposed to mean? Court will commence shortly. Please proceed into the courtroom. Let's go. That's not the time to talk about that anyway. N Nick. I don't know why this game is, th this case is psyching me up and it's going nuts in my face. Oh no, it's the whip lady. Court is now in session for the trial of Maya Faye. Are the prosecution and the defense prepared? Ah, great. She really is Von Karma. What is this, kid? <clears throat> Mr. Wright, are you prepared? Huh? Uh, yes, Your Honor. Why does he always seem mad at me? Mr. Phoenix Wright. I need to. I need a good German accent. It's like... Guten Tag. You must be a little shocked because I am a woman, correct? Hold on. So she's the famed successor to Prosecutor Von Karma? I am Franziska von Karma, the prodigy. I see. I gave up a promising career in Germany and came to this country for one sole reason. Revenge. Revenge? Is this about her father, Manfred von Karma? Um, if it's something of a personal nature, I'm sure you can... She, had to, she assaulted the judge! I'm talking. Why does she also have uh, giant shoulders? If you interrupt me again, if you interrupt again, my whip will do the speaking for me. I don't think this is a good German accent at all. Please speak with your mouth like a normal person, I beg of you. Yo! Make no mistake, I will defeat you. 
Let's prepare to go down, Mr. Phoenix Wright. Prosecutor Von Karma, your opening statement, please. Those of Von Karma blood have only one fate, and that is perfection. The defendant Maya Fey will find no escape from her guilt on my watch. Uh, this is a terrible German accent, I swear. Very well. What is the defense's position? Your Honor. Does the defense wish to enter a plea of not guilty? Yes. Foolish fool who foolishly dreams of foolish dreams. Ten minutes. I give the defense ten minutes before it changes its plea. That's right. I'll have you running for the justified self-defense plea in no time. Justified self-defense? A plea usually reserved for when a person unintentionally kills in defense of himself. We could very easily make a solid case that it was self-defense, but... The defense stands by the plea of not guilty, Your Honor. Because to plead justified self-defense is to say you did kill someone. <laughs> how foolish. If that's how you want to play it, Mr. F if this, uh, now I'm going into French! Eh, fuck it, French. If that's how you want to play it, Mr. Phoenix Wright, then I shall now call the first witness. She's just as scary as her father. Like father, like daughter, I suppose. Witness your name and occupation. Yes, sir. My name's Dick Gumshoe. I'm a detective at the local precinct. Ah! Get to the point already. Explain to the court the details of this murder. Yes, sir. Um, if everyone would please look at this map. The channeling chamber has no windows and the door was always locked. At the time of the murder, only the victim and the defendant were in the room. What were they doing in there? Um, they, well, they were channeling a spirit, sir. Ch channeling a spirit? That's quite the look of disbelief there, Your Honor. <clears throat> anyway, a few minutes after the channeling started, gunshots were heard coming from inside the room, sir. A few of the witnesses broke, in, broke the door down and rushed into the room. Ah, oh, that's when they found the victim was already dead, correct? Hmm, I believe this is one of the most open and shut cases I've ever presided over. So, how was the victim killed? I was about to get to that. Stop wasting my time, then. Cause of death. The direct cause of death was a pistol shot to the forehead, sir. The shot was fired from point-blank range. But then how did that other, like, little diddly D come from? The bullet hole. But before the victim was shot, sir, he was stabbed in the chest. The wound was very severe, but not enough to cause instantaneous death. The murderer used the pistol to finish the victim off after the stabbing. I'll have to press on everything, but I think the point-blank range shot will be the thing to point. Hey, there's a bullet hole here. Fuck you. So the victim was shot before being stabbed. This is the victim's autopsy report, sir. After being shot in the chest, stabbed in the chest, he was shot in the forehead at point blank. The court accepts it into evidence. Mr. Wright, you may question the witness. Ooh, boy! I wonder if you also lose health here if you fail the... Ba ba ba. If you do bad on the Cyclops if you lose health here. The murder weapon, Detective Gumshoe. Whose pistol was it? It was the victim's. The victim? Now, why would he have... Why would he have a pistol? Who cares? The point that you are missing is whose fingerprints are on the pistol. If you're not already paying attention to that, then I suggest you start. Fingerprints? There were fingerprints. Along with... I almost... Why? My voices are getting mixed up. Along with the victims, the defendant, Maya Faze, were also on the grip, sir. Hmm. Hmm. So the defendant's fingerprints were left on the murder weapon. I walked right into her hands there. The shot was fired from point-blank range. Point-blank, huh? So how about... How far away is that? It's anywhere between 12 to 20 inches away. And how do you know he was shot at point blank? Tisk tisk tisk, Mr. Phoenix Wright. I grow tired of the foolish foolery of the foolish fools of this foolish country. Excuse me? Gunpowder burn. 
gunpowder burn? When something is shot from point blank, a burn area is left around the bullet hole. Gunpowder exploding is what makes a bullet fire, and that gets real hot, pal. And there were definitely some gunpowder burns left on the victim's forehead. Wow, never knew that. Live and learn, I guess. But before the victim was shot, Zay was stabbed with a chest. Stabbed? And what was he stabbed with? A fruit knife. I see. And whose knife was it? It looks like it belongs to the face, sir. And of course, my face fingerprints are all over it. Hmm. All over it, huh? Uh, this does not look good. <laughs> what will you do now, Mr. Phoenix White? The wound was very severe, but not enough to cause instantaneous death. How severe was the wound? If it had been half an inch more to the right, it would have hit the victim's heart. After a stab like that, it's impossible to fight back, let alone stand. This testimony makes it sound like Maya had stabbed him with the intent to kill. The murderer used the pistol to finish the victim off after the stabbing. Are you sure he was stabbed first, then shot? Yep, sure as sure can be. One look at the wounds and you come to the same conclusion too, pal. A fool is a fool who will only listen to the foolish opinions of other foolish fools. A pistol shot to the forehead at point blank range is certainly enough to kill instantly. Does it matter, then, which was first? Think of a little more before you open your big mouth of yours, Mr. Phoenix Wright. Uh, what a pain. That's enough! We have clearly established how the victim was murdered. I brought the two murder weapons with me today. Very well, the court accepts them into evidence. Two shots fired. Hmm. Then where did the first one go? And then the knife. This, again, makes me think that... Hmm. The date and time of death was June 19th at 3.15 p.m. Eyewitnesses claim to have had two gunshots at this time. And two murder weapons. Both of the defendant's fingerprints on them, huh? Hmm. This does seem like an open and shut case. Naturally. This is going from bad to worse. As if the summary just now wasn't oversimplifying things to the extreme. Your Honor, feel free to slam that little gavel of yours. After all, there's no room left for doubt, is there? But it's quite true, Mr. Wright. Yes? Even in the face of all this, do you still wish to plead not guilty? It's the opinion of this court that if you do not adjust your plea, you stand to lose. See, just as I promised, Mr. Phoenix Wright, you would change your plea in less than ten minutes. What will you do, Mr. Wright? Will you change to justify self-defense? Because now would be the time to do so. This is your final chance. This is a huge decision. I better think this way through. Plead not guilty. If we plead justified self-defense, we'd basically be confessing to murder. After the trial, Maya's life would be ruined, and she'd be labeled a murderer. I can't let that happen. Your Honor! Have you reached a conclusion, Mr. Wright? The defense will not change its plea. We will accept nothing short of complete acquittal. You. You have sealed your fate, Mr. Phoenix Wright. Detective. Yes, sir. Present the final portion of your testimony. The final strike. Um, yes, sir. Now, see here. Proceedings are run by... Ah! Oh, yes, of course. Go ahead, Detective, and give your testimony. I think the court would like to hear about the other piece of incriminating evidence. Why do I feel like this is going to uh, blow the case open a bit? Sorry, pal, but there's an even more incriminating piece of evidence. This is the costume the defendant was wearing at the time of the crime. As you can see, it's covered in blood. The defendant attacked and killed a person who, without a doubt, was not fighting back. So this is the costume. There certainly is evidence of back spray of blood on this. This piece directly links my fate to the crimester. I see. The court accepts it into evidence. Hmm. All right, Mr. Wright. Maya's fingerprints on both murder weapons and blood splatters on her clothes. Could this situation get any worse? Ha, huh, what's wrong? You seem to be at a loss. I think this is the last piece of testimony the prosecution should have to offer. Feel free to sulk it off of your tail between your legs, Mr. Phoenix Wright. Please stop calling me by my full name. It's disturbing. But how will I... Because hmm. I don't think I need to press... Maya's costume? 
Yeah, she was wearing this when we arrested her. Maya, she's wearing her channeling costume today, too. Is she not allowed to wear anything else? As you can see, it's covered in blood. Oh. 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 I had an idea. What if Maya wasn't Maya when the channeling started? What if it was Pearl? What if Morgan did something to Maya to knock Maya out and like have her spirit leave her body? Pearl then channels Maya's spirit and Maya doesn't know for some reason what happened. And she goes along with the channeling normally. But when she channels the spirit of the nurse, she's just returning to her own body because Pearl is the one who she was in the body of. Okay, here's the chain of events. Morgan somehow does something to Maya. Maya is knocked out cold and she is placed sleeping in the diddly dee. She is the one that was sleeping in the side room. And her spirit somehow, despite sleeping in the... Her body is sleeping there, being knocked out, somehow her spirit then is channeled by Pearl. And then... Pearl who is now channeling Maya, and Maya doesn't know this for some reason, goes into the meditation room, the spiritual channeling room, and she summons the spirit of the nurse, knocking her spirit back to her body. She is all, like, wrapped up tight in that uh, diddly d oh, don't bother the person side room. And that's why she feels like she was suffocating underground, because it was, like, heavily done. Or it could have been the trunk! <laughs> and that's why Morgan said, I'll deal with this, you go. As you can see, it's covered in blood. There's blood on the costume. Lab results show that it is the victim's blood. Hmm, so there is no blood from the victim on... So there is blood on, from the victim on the defendant's clothes. Definitely not good. So were there any other clues you could glean from this piece of evidence? Um, well... If you must change the topic, then the good detective here must testify again. But too bad, not enough time. Let's move on. Oh, yes, Miss Von Karma. It's perfectly correct. Uh, now even the judge is on her side. But if I bite off more than I can chew here, what should I do? Press further. Why is Miss Von Karma suddenly putting up a resistance? There must be a reason as to why she suddenly threw out an objection like that. There's a bullet hole on the diddly day! Bullet hole! I see it now! Could I examine it? No! But I see a bullet hole now! I just have to look harder. Mr. Wright, Miss Von Karma's logic is perfect! There's no way for you to poke a hole in it! Uh, looks like my time is up. So about the costume. There's one little thing. Your Honor? Actually, there is something very wrong with this piece of evidence. B what What are you talking about, pal? Where is this problem you're talking about? I've come this far. There's no turning back now. The problem I have with this piece of evidence... ...is... ...here! I ask the court to please take a look at the sleeve of this costume. The sleeve? There's a tiny hole here! Uh, a hole? But that wasn't in the report! Hold on! What's this around the hole? It smells faintly of gunpowder. Gunpowder? No one ever told me! A hole that small a hole that smells of gunpowder. It looks like I found the hole I was looking for. Your Honor, the only logical conclusion you can make is that it must be a bullet hole. Order! 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 This is a very grave matter. It's best we correct the court record first before anything else. Press the check button for details. Sorry about that. I guess we messed up, sir. I want to check that out. So we can't actually see it there. Hmm. Okay, we have a knife that has the Maya's fingerprints, a gun that bears Maya's fingerprints, 
the autopsy report, floor plans, the second key, a folding screen with a bullet hole eight inches off the ground, and two, uh, two newspaper clippings. One year ago, May 2nd, and then falling asleep at the wheel. There, there, there's a lot. Is she actually smiling? What else is she hiding? Pull yourself together, detective. That's not the right voice at all. That tiny hole doesn't change a thing. The strength of the evidence still holds. Continue with your testimony. That just now was a fluke, nothing more. How can you say something like that? This is a huge oversight. While I agree it is a mistake on the part of the police. What Prosecutor Von Karma has said is true. The evidence still stands. If you do not find more definitive problem with the evidence, then... No way! Detective Gumsu, please continue with your testimony. Th yes, sir. He wasn't fighting back? How do you know if he was or wasn't? We could find no evidence that the victim put up any sort of struggle, pal. Hmm. So did the murderer have a fight with the victim or not? Depending on this, the circumstances around the murder changed drastically. Uh, we're in trouble now. If only I had something to prove that the victim fought back. That fought karma, she thinks she can change the verdict with this testimony alone. We'll all find a critical contradiction. And I know exactly what it is, it's just what we found out. Which means... Present. Detective Dick Gumshoe. Uh, yes? That's... Uh, yeah. <laughs> Having me who call me by my full name is kind of weird feeling. You said that my client killed a person who without a doubt was not fighting back. Yeah, I did. Then what, may I ask, is the bullet hole you police overlooked supposed to mean? Uh, um, what does it mean? I'll tell you what it means. It means that the victim had fired off a shot. Is this n what it means to not fight back? Ah, you're right! It seems you're correct. If the victim had tried to shoot the defendant, then it would change everything. All right, the wind seems to be shifting. Except Von Karma is now going to say that the victim shot at Maya in self-defense. Ha! What is with are you finished yet laugh? Are you finished yet, Mr. Phoenix Wright? Miss Von Karma? It seems that Maya Faye was shot at by the victim. However, that is only grounds enough to support a justified self-defense plea. That is correct. But I'm sure you remember, Your Honor, what the defense clearly said. They rejected justified self-defense and pleaded not guilty. Ah! Now that you... Why, that's right. Which means the defense has yet to prove anything at all. No! Well, yes, that's true. Curtsy. Furthermore, just the fact that there is a bullet hole in the costume is not enough to substantiate even a plea of justified self-defense. Huh? How so? Ah! Don't just stand there. Hurry up and tell the court what transpired that day. With the new information, we have acquired added in, of course. Huh? You mean by myself? You want me to put together a scenario all by myself? Ah! Yes, yeah, sir. Right away, sir. Woo-hoo! During the channeling, the defendant saw her chance to stab the victim in the chest. Of course, the victim used the last of his strength to fight back, sir. While the two were fighting, the victim took out his gun. The victim took a shot, but because they were too close, he missed. The defendant then picked up on the opening, took the victim's gun, and ended it. Hmm. I think that's where the panel is going to come in. The scenario you put together does make sense. Yes, sir. Well, Mr. Wright. On the surface, it does seem to make sense. However, I won't give up that easily. Please refrain from glaring at me like that. Now then, your cross-examination, please. I do like that he's actually kind of a little scared of Phoenix there. Please don't glare at me like that. I do like the music again. It's very nice. There's a quite difference in height between Dr. Gray and the defendant. Add in the body strength, and it seems unlikely the defendant could have stabbed the victim. Now that you mention it, yeah, I guess. You think you can get away with such flimsy reasoning, Mr. Phoenix, right? Maya Faye was in the middle of a channeling, was she not? 
When channeling with the cu uh, curing channeling technique, the medium physically changes. With the nurse's build, the defendant could have easily been the match for the detective. A doctor, not detective. I don't believe it. She even studied up on the curing channeling technique. Like I said before, I am perfect. Um, uh, about what you were talking about, I didn't quite get it. Um, never mind. Let's continue with the testimony. Of course, the victim used the last of his strength to fight back. So he was stabbed, but the stab wound didn't kill him. But if you think about the blood loss, he was probably hurt badly. How badly hurt would you say he was? Actually, I went to give blood the other day, and afterward I felt a little lightheaded and dizzy. I guess the damage was maybe about ten times the dizziness. Ah! Sorry. While the two were fighting, the victim took out his gun. Where in the world did that pistol come from? It looks like the victim, Dr. Gray, had specifically bought it for that day. But a handgun? He got it off the black market about two days before the murder. Why did Dr. Gray bring a gun? Is he taking precautions against something? The victim took a shot, but because they were too close, he missed. So you're saying that the bullet hole in this costume was made then? Sorry, pal, but yeah, that's what I think. The two of them were already fighting when a shot was fired. Maya, I'm really glad you weren't hurt. The defendant then picked up the opening, took the victim's gun, and ended it. Maya's never fired a gun before in her life! The victim had already taken off the safety. With the safety off, even an amateur like you can fire it just by pulling the trigger. Even me, I wonder. Now, do you understand? Avon Karma's logic is perfect. His testimony certainly makes us look very bad. But there's gotta be a contradiction in there somewhere. And uncovering it is going to uncover the truth. I can feel it. Let's see. While the two are fighting, he's the gun. The two are too close, he missed. I'm going to say that the bullet hole in the panel is what I need. Nope. How dare you, game? Hmm, because that obviously means something. Hmm. Well, let's see. What evidence do I have? Two shots. Knife. Hmm. But I could have sworn that would have been the thing that we needed. We're fighting, the victim took out his gun. Hmm. Do I present the knife? Look for contradictions. During the channeling, the defendant saw her chance to stab the victim in the chest. Hmm. Do I present the profile of the deceased then? Nope. Hmm. Because I'm trying to think, and I can't think of anything hmm, that's directly out there. Because there was one... Hmm. There was one that Von Karma... How badly... I should be really good for that level of dizzy. Sometimes as... She attacks, does silent... Hmm. But there was also another one... Where... She stayed silent. That even an amateur like you... Even an amateur like you could shoot the gun. Hmm. Oh yeah, this is. Hmm. Yeah, what's with? Yeah, and then she curtsies. Hmm. I'm just 
trying to think. So what evidence do we have? This doesn't have a safety, it has that. Do I present the gun because it's not a safety, right? It's a... unless it's a double action. Hmm. I'm just trying to think of what anything could be. The game's not giving me much to work with, I don't think. Blah. All right, I'm gonna read carefully from the beginning. There's quite a difference between height, add in body strength, and then she says, because she had took on the physical appearance of the victim. But wouldn't that then mean that it's the, or like, the deceased? <laughs> but, Considering that doesn't change the testimony itself, I don't think I can bring in the, like, oh, it must obviously be her. Hmm. Of course, the victim is lost the strength to fight back. How badly would you say? Hmm. I'm trying to think this through. Fighting, the victim took out his gun. Where did he get it? Black market. Two days before. Is he taking precautions against something? He took a shot, but he was too close. It was made then. But yeah, that's what I think. The two of them were already fighting when the first shot was fired. But yeah, then she, there's that. Why did they include that part? Because they were too close missed. I'm trying to think what could possibly be the answer. Do we present like one of these? victim took a shot but because they were too close I could have sworn that would be it maybe the gun I'm just trying to think of anything but I can't think of anything hmm. the defendant then picked up the opening took the victim's gun and ended it I think I already did the pistol. Hmm. I just I don't know what to what. Come on, is the, I swear if this is another one, oh, you just need to let it ride. I would be annoyed. So let's see. Does the game just want it to let it ride? There's got to be a contradiction in there, and according to this, I'm sure of the truth. I can feel it. I just, I don't know! During the channeling, saw her chance to stab the victim, but she doesn't have, a, 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 like, a motive, unless you want to say that the ghost was the motive. But still, it would be freaking weird. hibbledy jibbledy Trying to think. Where's the victim? He's the last of his strength. But I just don't know what evidence I would give for any of this. I thought it would be you, but apparently not. Ah! Just annoying. I'm just trying to think. about what it could be. What could it possibly be? Because maybe it's... Okay, like, there's the pistol, there's the knife, there's... Hmm. Took a 
shot, but because they were too close, he missed. Do I present the bloody knife there? I'm just trying to think of anything. But, like, the only thing I can think of is, hey, the bullet hole, but the game doesn't want me to do that. Meh. Trying to think. I'm just trying to think, what could it possibly be? The defendant picked up the opening, took the victim's gun, and ended it. I'm just I'm trying to think of anything. Hmm. Let's look over all the evidence related directly to the murder that was given. Stabbed in the chest and shot at point blank gunpowder residue on the bullet hole. Murder weapon was grazed. Two shots fired. Bears my fingerprints. Murder weapon. Small fruit knife. Belongs to the face. Bears my fingerprints. Clothes. Maya was wearing at the time of the murder. Press check for details. That oh, doesn't give me anything. Just trying to think. be something right and if it's not the folding screen the only other thing related directly to Maya is like the knife and this hmm. and this one as well because they were too close that feels very weird Gunpowder residue, and they made a note of the the gunpowder thing. Hmm. Trying to think. I guess I could just throw the evidence around anywhere. Hey, let's throw it. Do it. Are you kidding me? What is the world's cosmic hellhole, Diva? Missing the tiny hole on the at the same time if it was so close. Yeah, how technically he didn't miss, but at the same time he was close. Why would he have shot at the sleeve? And not more center mass. If they were that close. That, you know, I should have picked up on that. They're too close together. That doesn't really make much sense when shooting the gun. If you're closer, that's easier. It's when you're farther away that it's hard. Missing the tiny hole in this costume will be the prosecution's undoing. Eh? What do you mean? This little hole has actually created a huge hole in your testimony. Explain yourself, Mr. Wright. You said the two of them were fighting when the victim fired his gun point blank. If that were true, then where's the gunpowder burn on the costume? Yeah, I did know that they were talking about the... Would have been nice if we saw, like, like evidence of gun burn and other evidence and then be able to know that there wasn't one, but uh, I was just going YOLO anyways, who knows? Gunpowder burn? This is what you testified earlier. When something is shot from point blank, a burn area is left around the bullet hole. So I probably should have thought about that, yeah. Oh! But there's not a single trace of gunpowder burn on this costume! That is very good point. And what exactly does this mean? It means that when the shot was fired, they were standing apart from each other. Hmm. I'm disappointed, Mr. Phoenix Wright. You think you can punch a hole in my logic with that? With wishy-washy thinking like that, anyone can explain anything away. Then I implore you to disprove my line of thinking. Let's see. In the middle of their fight, the victim pushed the defendant away. And it was then when they were separated that he fired. How is that? As if that was even possible. According to testimony, the wound from the stabbing was very severe. 
the victim would not have had the strength to push the defendant very far after that. Well, then... That's right! The defendant must have pushed the victim away! After stabbing him, she must have put some distance between the doctor and herself. And then while she was preparing to strike again, the doctor took his shot. There, that should satisfy even you. Hmm, that does even make awful lot of sense. What do you think, Mr. Wright? You must be careful. I can't ma afford to make a mistake here. Hmm. But, hmm. Concentrate and think. Something doesn't make sense, because obviously we have to push that. Be contradictory. There is a fatal flaw in her argument, Your Honor. Fatal? Flaw? Yo! Very interesting. I would love to see where this flaw is. Show me something that contradicts my explanation. There has to be a snag in her explanation somewhere. She put some distance between them before rushing to make the final blow. But if... Why wouldn't she just shoot him? And when she was about to strike, the doctor took his shot. But there must be a piece of evidence that contradicts this line of thinking. Is it the knife? Hmm. Or is it this? This is the piece of evidence that destroys your logic. I knew that you were coming to help me! What is that? A folding screen? I would like to point the court's attention to the hole in this folding screen. Ah! It looks like you already know what I'm talking about. Who? Where? What? Mr. Wright, your explanation, please. Are these two really that clueless? The bullet went through the defendant's sleeve first, then the folding screen. It passed through at a height of approximately 8 inches off the ground, which means... When the shot was fired, Maya, I mean the defendant, was not getting ready to strike, but was actually squatting low to the ground. Mortar! Mortar! Th this changes everything! Please look at this diagram of the crime scene. The victim, Dr. Gray, was here when he fired the shot, and the bullet hit this folding screen. It hit at this location about eight inches off the ground. At this time, the defendant was in this area. Somewhere around here. Uh-oh, the judge's face is scrunched up like he smelled some serious bad breath. I don't know where he even wants that. Let's reload and go crazy. Something doesn't make sense that I need to resave later. Oh, yeah. I'm, was, I'm wondering why they want me to be like, eh, point to the place. Motherfucker. Just need to get to a good point. trying to think where they would want me to... Where they would want me to put the... At the time, the defendant was in... This area. Come on, I don't have an exact place to put her. This isn't like normal ones. So do they just want me to say... Where do you want me to point? Oh, she was standing here. Wait a second. We know the defender was close to the ground based on the height of the bullet hole. But how can you gauge the distance from that? It is impossible that the defendant was standing much... Isn't it possible the defendant was standing much closer to the victim? And that's impossible. But, but why? You of all people should know the answer to that question, Miss Von Karma. If she were shot from somewhere closer, there would be gunpowder burns present. However, there's nothing of the sort around the bullet hole of this costume. Ah! C 
curse you, Mr. Phoenix Wright, you! Hmm. I believe it has now been proven that the defendant was standing away from the victim when she was shot at. But do you think this changed the defendant's situation? It changes everything. Honestly, Your Honor, this changes everything. The prosecution has claimed that the defendant was aiming to kill by stabbing. If that were true, delivering the final strike with the knife would be ideal. However, where and what was the defendant doing at the time? Squatting all the way by the folding screen. Exactly. If Maya Fey was the real murderer, why would she be, be by the folding screen instead of preparing to strike? Yeah. Upon further consideration, it does make very little sense. Yeah, I figured that to be a reason. Figuring things out and proving the logic behind everything is your job! Oh. Right. Just the rest of this trial should be in the b Blast radius of disaster. You are such a smart man, Mr. Phoenix Wright. To think that you've been able to completely... Take a completely hopeless case to the point. Now I know why Papa had a tough time with you. Hmm, you amuse me. Uh, of all the things to inherit, why did you have to be the be that smarmy smile? Detective, how dare you damage my perfect logic! How is it my fault? You can start repairing your standing by first removing the three-strand goatee. Oh, and rest assured, your punishment will come later. P punishment Well, then, Your Honor, I think I've had all I can take of this detective's face. I think it's time to call in the next witness. Next witness? It's gotta be Lada. Very well. The court will take a five-minute recess. After we reconvene, we will hear from the next witness. Yeah, that part was a little odd, mostly by them kind of expecting you to extrapolate things a bit. Because, again... It would make sense if there was a piece of evidence that explicitly showed, like, the bl the blast burn. But hey, I got it in the end, I guess. And then there's the bit of, hey, point to where she was. And I assumed around that, like, pillar, because it's near the point where she was shot at. But I, the game was just like, you have to be very specific. <laughs> a little odd, but eh. <sighs> that was a close one. Remember to stay hydrated. I know you were giving it your all to defend me, but I could feel the death penalty hanging in the air. I feel like I was pretty close to dying myself. But you were wonderful out there. You listened carefully, made theories, and tricked everyone into believing you. Th thanks Wait, tricked? That must be the lawyer's secret technique, right? By the way, is the, is the next witness who I think it is? Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's a lot of heart. Uh, guess there's no escaping her, huh? Remember, Nick, you promised you would save me. If you lose, me and my sister's ghost will come after you and haunt you. Your sister? Um, are you talking about Mystic Maya? Mia. Mystic Maya. Yeah, do you remember her, Pearly? My sister was a super good lawyer. She was also Nick's teacher. Oh, I didn't know that. And back into the courtroom. Court will now reconvene. Now the first order of... Oh! I don't want to hear it, old man. After I call my witness, sit there quietly and watch like a good little boy. Yes, sir. Bring in the photographer who witnessed the channeling. Witness your name and occupation, if you please. Hey, Phoenix, how you doing? Just fine. Sorry about this. Didn't exactly have a choice, you know. Yowza! Name and occupation. I declare, what in tarnation? Hey, judge, this here is violence against my fair self. That's fine. That's fine? That ain't fine. That's a whip. Ah! There's no need for foolish outcries from foolishly foolish fools. Just hurry and testify about what happened on the day of the murder. I haven't even gotten to see my name and job yet. <laughs> my name's Lada Hart, paranormal photographer. Ah, oh, and I skipped because I'm a moron. Now, now, let's all be one big happy family, okay? I should say, because I'm paranoid. Witnesses account. 
Only the doc and the defendant went to the channeling chamber. We were waiting outside the door and then bang, we heard this gunshot. Mr. Lawyer there broke the door down and we rushed into the room. Inside was the dead victim and the defendant waving a pistol around. I swear other than those two, there was no one else in the room. And did you take a picture of the scene right after the murder took place? Wrecking cause. Eh? Uh, excuse me? Wrecking cause. It's your for you reckon? Of course I did. Ah! I love the way that the Flotto's head just whips back with the attacks. Does it look like I care? Just hurry up and show your picture to the court. A moment of truth. What will be in that picture? Um, let's see here. And this is the picture. But then how'd she get there? Hmm. It would certainly seem that the only defendant and victim were in the room. That definitely looks weird, though. Are you ready, Mr. Phoenix Wright? I will clear all doubt about Maya through this cross-examination. Just watch me! Also, yeah, these have just gotten longer. Woo! I think this was about the length of the second case in the last game. Was it really only those two that went in? What are you blabbering about? You were there too, were you not? Uh, Why don't you answer that yourself? Was it really just the two of them? Yes, Dr. Gray and Maya were the only two that went into that room. Uh, hold on! We can't have the defense testifying against its own client! Anyway, folks, the only two of them went into the channeling chamber, you hear? But you knew that from the very beginning, didn't you? Witness continue. We were waiting outside and we heard bang, we heard a gunshot. Was it really a gunshot? <laughs> Are you insane? You must have heard it as well. I was hoping for that second gunshot to be heard. Why don't you testify for the court, Mr. Phoenix Wright? Was it really a gunshot? Yes. I think it sounded something like a gunshot. And why are we here listening to defense testify? And the world becomes just a little crueler. I had a gunshot a long time ago, so I know. And I tell you, that was a gunshot I heard. Now this is where the story heats up. <laughs> I do love that they make it if you do testify on things that you should already know. It's just amusing. So, let me get this straight. This Mr. Lawyer there broke down the door. Honestly, Mr. Phoenix Wright, why don't you tell us what happened then? Um, yes, Miss Von Karm, I broke the door down, sorry. Why does this feel like an inquisition? No need for apologizing. That was great. You're a real man. Oh, really? That's something I would have liked to see. The judge is smiling rather openly. I'll take that as a good sign. And what did you see once you broke in? Waving a pistol around. Are you sure it was the defendant Maya Faye? Sure, I'm sure. Lana seems awfully confident. Press harder. Lana, please think back to the day one more time. W what you getting at? Remember what you said when we broke into the room? I was murdered. Lana, at a time like this? Times like this are perfect for snapping up shots. But anyway, what's going on here? This gal is... Is she Maya? When you saw the murder at that time, you couldn't even tell if it was Maya Faye or not. Am I correct? Um, well, you see... Morda, Miss Hart, are you here to present accurate... You are here to present accurate testimony. Yeah, sorry. Good, this shifts things back to my side. For a defense lawyer, your defense is terribly lacking, Mr. Phoenix Wright. Witness, think back to when those two entered the channeling chamber. When they entered, one of those people would, that entered the room was Maya Faye, correct? Yeah, that's right. Yeah, it was Maya that went in. Hmm, it looks like we've come to a collective conclusion. The person in this picture is most certainly Maya Faye. Exactly. Rats, I'm trapped like one. Again. I swear, on those two, there was no one else in the room. Are you absolutely certain of that? Sure I am. The old witch chased us out of that room, so... Old witch? Does she mean Morgan Fay? But there was... was no one else in that room, and you know it! The channeling chamber was very dark, almost pitch black. Was there really no one else in that room? Behind the folding screen? What about behind the folding screen? Did you check back there? Rick Given? Oh, uh, what in the... Rick Given, you know. You reckon? That's a given. I took... Me a good look around that room once. 
There ain't no way anyone was hanging out behind that folding screen. Hmm. If I may have a word with you, Miss Hart. What? You got a problem? Wreck given. I mean, I, I am having a little difficulty in understanding you. If you would stop saying such things as wreck given so far. Oh! Now then, Mr. Phoenix Wright, do you have to see a problem with the testimony or don't you? Just as I thought, there's nothing wrong with her testimony. I was with her, so I know she's telling the truth. Enough. It seems that there are no issues of Miss Hart's testimony. At the time of the crime, only two people were in the channeling chamber. The victim, Dr. Turner Gray, and the defendant, Maya Fay. Hmm. The face of the defendant cannot be verified in this picture. However, if we think about the circumstances, it would have to be the defendant. What am I going to do if I just let this go? What is it, Mr. Wright? You look as if you have something to say. If I make one wrong move, I'm going to have the judge against me. It's because we have a second key. So anyone could have gotten in. Is there anything I can present that prove that it's not Maya in this photo? Present evidence. Your Honor. Mr. Wright. It is possible that the person in this photo is not the defendant. B what? Do you know what you're proposing? Yeah, they're just plain fool's talk. Thanks, guys. Your show of support was just great. Now then, Mr. Wright, please show the court some proof. Prove to this court that the person in this photo is not Maya Faye. Hmm. I'm trying to frickin' think. I don't even know. I don't know what I've gotten myself into. What, do I just present the photo? I honestly have no idea. Proof to this course that the person in this photo is not Maya Fey. in that photo. Do I present the floor plans? Hmm. Proof to this court of the person. This key. Nope. Where is it? Here's your proof. Is there a problem? Oh no, I thought I would work on my inflections. Just wondering what an objection with a twist of you're wrong sounds like. Mr. Wright, I'm sorry, but I don't follow your logic. Hmm. I'm just wondering. Because maybe the game w wants me to let it ride. Hmm. But at the same time, <laughs> that, I that is kind of a trick that every single time this comes out, usually we want to present. Would it be the autopsy report? No. We need to be able to prove that that's not Maya. Hmm. Ah, screw it. Let's play around. Let's go crazy. Yeah, because there's a bullet hole there, but I don't see a bullet hole there, so do I present this? Here's your proof! And... Uh, darn you. Cause obviously, we have to give something here, right? I'm just wondering what... I thought it would be like, aha, there's no bullet hole there. Maybe it is the diddly D. Hmm. I'm just trying to think what could be. What is it that we could be? Cuz 
because I, I guess we could just do the can't present anything yet. It's just that usually when we enter into these segments, more often than not, in fact, I don't think that there's been a single time that we say no except for Rise from the Ashes a little bit. And that was mostly stuff like, oh, I don't want to do that because it, it was implicating uh, Lana. Well, I guess the court thing would end very fast if we say, oh, we can't prevent anything, and then the game goes down the trail, so I can't present anything yet. Well, Mr. Wright? Nothing, Your Honor. That's very smart of you, Mr. Phoenix. You really should give up trying to prove this is not my affair. I didn't say anything about giving up. I just don't have the right piece of evidence to prove my argument. That's enough! Is this it? Is this all I could do? I think this is quite obvious to the court that a verdict of not guilty is not possible. I told you. I told you totally 100% impossible. Miss Von Karma, do you have any further questions for this witness? Having established the defendant's guilt, further questioning won't be needed, so probably. What about the defense? No further questions, I presume. I couldn't protect Maya. The defense? The defense? Ah, we get a flash of Mia. Phoenix. Phoenix, you can't make that kind of face. A lawyer is someone who smiles, no matter how bad it gets. Mia! <laughs> what? 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 Oh, that's horrifying! But also kind of proves my theory that it could be Pearl. Well. <laughs> but no, actually it can't be Pearl because it's a different hairstyle. Okay, so, hmm. I think that jabs out my theory that things went about that way. Maybe. Then again, maybe they just did her hair differently? But that is like the same like wristband thing that's in the photo in the same hand. Uh, I don't know. I'm just... Uh, da, 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 da. I guess I made it just in time, wouldn't you say? But you... But pearls! The clothes are a bit small. Anyway, what are you waiting for, Phoenix? Let's go. But how? She's already taken away every advantage. The advantage is still in your hand. Think carefully one more time about what you saw in the channeling chamber. Do you remember what you told me yesterday? D Dr. Dre! What about that second picture? Yeah. I was murdered. Hmm. But yeah, the... The hair is completely wrong, but it could be a wig. Wait. Darn, it doesn't show, like, her beads. Hmm. Because I think this might be... Again, it could be Pearl. I was murdered. A lot of time like this. Times like this perfect for stepping up shots. We already went through that. Yeah, because that diddly D. What was it? Magatama. That one was brown in the flashback thingy, I think. But the pearls do match. But at the same time, they just could be bog-standard pearls. You know, there is one final piece to this puzzle. Yeah? Question Lotta one more time, Phoenix. I don't know if she's doing it unconsciously or on purpose, but she's not testifying truthfully. Now then, this court would like to end the cross-examination period. Wait, Your Honor. The defense would like to request that the witness testify one more time. Overruled. I'm afraid you're too late, Mr. Wright. The cross-examination has already ended. Furthermore... Ah! It's fine. I'll allow another testimony. A Von Karma's case is perfect. Absolutely flawless. And what better time than this for you to see that? But, but I mean, I have some place I must go after this. Um, all right, all right, I'll allow it. Miss Hart, hurry and give us another testimony. Well, heck, what am I supposed to talk about? Please tell us once more what happened when you burst into the channeling chamber. Okay, you got it. See, you got through to the judge somehow, right? Well, actually, it was Von Karma's whip that got through to him. When we broke into that room, all I could focus on was Maya. I was uh, kind of scared of the dead body, so I didn't take a good look at it. 
I'm really bad when it comes to blood and ghosts and stuff, but I still managed to point my camera at Maya and take a shot. I'm gonna assume we present the photo at the end. Nothing sounds different from before. Some parts of her testimony were very vague. I should press her on those sections. Struggle all you like as you taste the bitterness of your defeat. Well, amuse me with your useless questions, Mr. Phoenix Wright. I'm waiting. Again, terrible German, but I don't know why. I can't do a German accent with her. Okay, first things first, we're gonna save. But I guess this game is ramping up things, because I was just like, oh, but normally when these games enter into that little, like, choice segment, we always do it. So I guess the game is, like, actively trying to make you think more, like, do you have the evidence to do this? If not, back down. Okay. And why was that? So, what did she look like? You know, she looked almost like a different person. A, a different person? She may have seemed like a different person, however, she was still my affair. We have already made that point abundantly clear. Yes, that is true. Well then, Miss Hart, did you see anything else? I was uh, kind of scared of dead body, so I didn't take a good look. Then perhaps that body was not Dr. Gray's at all. Eh? Well, I reckon that's possible. <laughs> if that body inside the room is not that of Dr. Gray, then whose body was it, Mr. Phoenix Wright? Well, what if that was Maya Fey after the channeling? Or maybe... Ow! Foolish fool spouting foolish foolishness just as I expected of a foolish fool such as you. If that were the case, then that would mean that Maya Fey is in fact dead. And that would make the defendant's chair quite a lonely place. Sorry, Maya. Are y'all done here? Can I continue? I'm really bad when it comes to blood and ghosts and stuff. And even knowing that, you still persist in being a paranormal photographer. And that's why I'm getting out of this here business. That <laughs> this gal's gonna get the dirt on the stars and get be a tabloid photographer from now on. She goes through jobs faster than a baby through diapers. Ah! Mr. Phoenix Wright, would it kill you to stay on topic for a change? Well, would it, Mr. Wright? Nice, tag teamed in stereo. Guess I should be grateful it's not 5.1. But I still managed to take, uh, point my camera at Maya and take a shot. Two, right? T two what? Two shots. You took two shots. But only one has been submitted as evidence. Miss Hart, where's the other picture you've been withholding? here I thought I would have had to uh, present that evidence. No, 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 you got it all wrong. It's not me. I, I didn't mean anything bad. I know I can be a little mean, but I ain't evil. Well, at least she knows herself. Then why have you not shown this other picture? Well, ain't it obvious? The prosecutor woman told me to shut my trap about it. What? V Von Karma! Miss Von Karma, you you're hiding critical evidence? Unforgivable, Von Karma. Suppressing evidence like this? You're as bad as your father. Confront Franzika. Your Honor, the defense asked that Prosecutor Von Karma be held in contempt of court. Hmm, well, yes. Ugh. Me? In contempt of court? You can't be serious, but but you had evidence from the court. On purpose. That's, that's... That's not fair! Phoenix, are you a lawyer or a school child? Ah, I was so angry I lost my composure. Miss Von Karma, would you care to explain yourself to this court? I thought this picture was not important, and thus felt no need to submit it at all. That's all. How could you think? The pictures were more or less the same, so why bother with the second? I mean, it's just much more trouble than it's worth for me to submit this as evidence. But more trouble than it's worth? How, how can you say that? If you want to see it that badly, I'll submit it. Well, let's see. What is this? What is this picture? It's obviously the second picture the witness took the day of the scene of the crime. Well, it's a little off-center, but that's what you get with a nervous amateur. Uh, I think the important point here is the person in this picture. This is most definitely not Maya Fey. And there's no bullet hole, is there? I need to take a look at this shit. There's no bullet hole! I'm enraged. What is the meaning of this? This might be the break I was looking for. Or the prosecution will be an asshole. Now, should I, should I not, since the person is... The game already has made it so that... Well, technically, it's not Maya. 
Your Honor, and again, no bullet hole. As you can plainly see, the person in the picture is not Maya Faye. Yes, I see that. It's just... it's ju not just her face. Her whole body has taken on a different appearance. There's only one conclusion that can be drawn then. That somehow this other person snuck in and traded places with the defendant. And again, lack of bullet hole. Order! 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 Well, yes, I believe you're correct, Mr. Wright. The person who was inside the channeling chamber was not Maya Faye. Mia, we did it! You're too soft. Huh? You're softer than Aunt Morgan's strawberry desserts, Phoenix. Take a look at Prosecutor Von Karma's face. She's smiling? I think you had better continue to worry, Mr. Phoenix Wright. Miss Von Karma, what do you mean by that? Your Honor, I would like for you to take a look at this picture. This was taken yesterday at the detention center's visitor room. This is Mr. Phoenix and the defendant, Maya Faye, during this visit. Maya Faye? But isn't his, this a totally different person? She looks this way because she is obviously in the middle of channeling a spirit. It's unbelievable that she can... Yet it is the truth. When Maya Faye is in that state, she physically changes in the per... Uh, into the person she's calling. But again, I want to see. But the hair is different. Hmm. Or is it? Hmm. Ba -ba -ba -ba. And nope, the bobbles do seem to be about the same. <laughs> Miss Von Karma, a word if I may. Mia? Taking pictures of someone during a private visit is illegal. Surely you must know that the picture can't be submitted as evidence. Obviously, I know this picture is illegal, but I never intended to submit it as evidence in the first place. What is she? From the moment I showed this picture to the court, this case became all mine. After all, this image has now been forever burned into the judge's mind. I, I don't even see... I don't have even a single witty line. It looks like we've been had. I don't claim to understand this and still cannot believe it. Are you saying that this person, this person is the defendant, Maya Faye? If I give up here, the trial will end again. There's no bullet hole. That's what I'm going to say. Okay, let's take a look again at this. In fact, hmm. yeah, again, there's no bullet hole in the sleeve where there should be. If I slip up and say something wrong, it'll cost me. Is there anything I can prove this person is not? I can prove it. Your Honor? Oh, the fire has returned to your eyes, I see. This picture. Within this picture lies a critical contradiction to all the testimony up until now. A contradiction? So you think you've spotted a problem with this picture then on your keep? Why don't you point exactly what is so strange? Please direct your attention here. To, to the sleeve? But there isn't anything odd about it. And that is exactly what is so odd. Something that should be there is suddenly missing. Should be there. Ah! There was a bullet hole in the sleeve of the defendant's costume. If that's the case, then it should be in this picture as well. That's what I wanted to point out the first time. Miss Von Karma, you, you intended to hide this valuable piece of evidence? You will most certainly be assigned a penalty for this. All right, this should be some major damage to her argument. Don't celebrate yet. You like to bring down the mood, don't you? Take a look at Miss on Karma's face. Ah, uh, she's got that condescending grin plastered all over her face again. But this disproves a lot, doesn't it? Tisk tisk, jumping the gun, I see. Your Honor, I would like to extend an apology on behalf of those incompetent fools. What do you mean? And what incompetent fools? If those fools down at the precinct hadn't missed the bullet hole, I would have gotten a report about it. As I didn't, I could not have known that this picture was of any value to the case. Mm, I see. She's lying through her teeth, I know it. That woman knew about everything. The bullet hole, the picture, everything. But you can't prove that. Franzika von Karma's idea of a perfect case is quite fascinating, don't you think? Your Honor, you need not worry. If you must assign a penalty, I'll personally make sure that detective gets what's coming. I'm sure there will be a great gnashing of teeth on his next salary discussion. Poor gumshoe. In any case, this is a very big problem. When the defendant was taken into custody, her costume had a bullet hole in its sleeve. However, 
from this photo, it would appear that right after the shooting, there was none. The judge is confused by this strange twist of events. This is your chance, Phoenix. Load all that you've gotten to this one shot, all right? Ooh! This is definitely a hard one. Got it. Watch this, Maya. Your Honor, there's only one logical explanation for this contradiction. The shooter... The shooter is someone else. The defendant's sleeve had a bullet hole in it. However, this person's clearly does not. There can be only one explanation. This person who shot Dr. Gray was not the defendant, but a different person altogether. What? Order, order, order! If order is not restored, I will suspend this trial. Ah! Ah! Why me? This defense is... The defense's argument is a complete mess! A complete mess? I fail to see how. Please enlighten us. Hey, witness! Ah! What the heck? Is that any way to ask a gal a favor? Be quiet, you! You are the one who said it was only two of them when you entered the room. Well, you know... If you are lying, I swear that my whip will be the last thing you'll see! Look, sis, you're looking mighty scary, so why don't you say you... Wah! I swear I wasn't lying to nothing! There wasn't anyone else in there, honest! You see, now riddle me this, Mr. Phoenix Wright. Where did the defendant vanish to? And where did this other woman appear from? Underneath the pads? Um, why is it lately all I want to do is cry? Well, if the person in the picture is not the defendant, then this poses two very big questions. First, where did the defendant vanish to? And second, where did this person come from? That's right. Now hurry up and answer, Mr. Phoenix, right? Come on, you can't fall apart here, Phoenix. I can't believe that even Maya's calling me by my full name. But I mean, how am I supposed to prove something like this? Had enough yet, Mr. Phoenix, right? Or do you think you have enough in you to turn things around even now? To turn things around? That's right. Mia would always turn things around and change her perspective. Phoenix? So where did this intruder appear from, and where did Maya disappear to? I need to look at this from a different angle. Let's see. What if before we broke in, the third person was already in the room? And what if Maya had left that room somehow? If I could prove that either one of those conditions were true... Mr. Wright, let's hear what you've come up with. I think what happened before we forced our way into the channeling chamber was... A third person had entered it. Your Honor, I would like to present some evidence. I have proof that there was someone else in that room before the murder took place. Is it the key? Please take a good look at this. Okay. I've already seen it. Thank you. And what is the purpose of this item? Don't you see, Your Honor? I don't think you actually see what you are doing. Uh, I think it's a quote that should be signed at you, Mr. Wright. How dare you? But we should be able to prove that this was a... Hmm. So let's see. Let's see. What if before we broke in, the third person was already in the room? And what if Maya had left that room somehow? If I could prove that either of those are true, but how? We need to be able to prove that... Do I even have evidence? Let's see. Mr. Wright, let's hear what you've come up with. Let's see if we get closer. Either somebody got in. I think what happened before we forced our way into the chamber is... It could also be that because they've loved messing with us, Maya had left the room, a third person had entered it, and either way I would need to present evidence... that Maya had left, or somebody had gotten in. Hmm. Let's 
save on this properly. I just because sometimes I forget if you can like save on these kind of question things. Hmm. It could always be something I can't explain yet. And we could ask for more time. I'm sorry, but I simply can't. You see? And the reason is quite simple, because there is no explanation, that's why. Hmm, as I thought. Another big waste of court's time. I can't just give up like that, but... Mia! Rethink things one more time, there has to be an explanation. I'm already perfect, so of course my conclusions are also perfect. Now let's try this one more time. Okay, so if the game is literally forcing me to do it. Hmm. Maya had left the room. Maya had left the Chanley Chamber at some point, and the defense can prove this! Oh, how foolish. A foolish fool makes a foolish face while dreaming foolishly foolish dreams. Maya Faye was being looked after by her aunt Morgan Faye. The chances of her leaving the crime scene is lower than that detective's salary. Anyway, let's see some evidence. Prove that the murder until the time of rest, the defendant had left the room. This key. Miss Hart, do you remember this key? Um, well, I've seen it. Hey, that's the Chandlin Chamber key, right? Before the Chandlin started, Maya locked the door from the inside with that. The defendant herself locked the door. Yeah, that's why we all couldn't get the door open. The key's the only one of its kind, after all. Oh, one of a kind, you say? Wait, Mr. Phoenix Wright! Yes? It looks like she's catching on. I'm afraid to ask, but... Why is that key currently in your possession? Uh, huh? What do you mean? If Maya Faye locked herself in, then the key would have had to be with her. Yes, agreed. However, she did not have the key at the time of her arrest. Ah! Well, ain't that a kick! So how come you're holding on to it? I got this as a present from a certain little girl. And that little girl was nowhere near the crime scene at the time! Th that's preposterous! This means that Maya Fey must have left the room. If she had not, then I would not be holding this key you see before you! And here I thought it was the second key. No! Yeah, this one was much more tricky. You have to think a lot harder with this one. It seems we have come to an impasse. This picture has clearly captured the face of the murderer. However, if this... Is this person the defendant or not? The defense is arguing that this person is not the defendant. Furthermore, as proof this key has been submitted as evidence. Miss Von Karma. How can this be? At this point in time, a verdict on the defendant's guilt is not possible. My perfect case. I was there a flaw in my perfect case. Don't think you've won yet, Mr. Phoenix Wright. I am a prodigy. I've never lost a case. And I don't intend to lose here in this courtroom to a fool like you. I don't care what I have to do. I will get my guilty verdict. That's enough. If you would like to continue, do so in the lobby. Court will reconvene tomorrow at 10 a.m. That is all. Court is adjourned. Yeah, that was a hard one. It took three hours. Ugh. Wow, that was you, Pearly. You summoned my sis. Yes, I felt I had no choice. Great going, Pearly. I knew you were special. Hey, Nick, did you know? Um, yeah. It's not like anyone else in there could have done that. Hmm, Nick, I know you're trying really hard and all, but I really don't remember ever re leaving that room. And I don't think that a third person could have gotten into the room. Yeah. Well, at least we have until tomorrow to figure things out. Like, what happened in that room, for instance? Yeah, I'm counting on you. Uh, I envy the two of you. Oh, by the way, Nick, do you think you could take Pearly back home for me? Sure. All right, Pearls. You ready to go buy some tickets? Huh? A ticket? Poor thing. So sheltered. Woo! Man, they are just bashing you in the face with difficulty in this one. I kind of like it, because unlike Rise from the Ashes, as much as I like that case, it had some jank. This one, it was purely me overthinking things, not thinking things, and blah, blah, blah. We'll start a little bit and see where we stand, and then we'll stop, because, again, three hours. And we're not even done with this case. Thank you very much for bringing me home, Mr. Nick. 
You're welcome. I had to come and look into a few things here today anyway. Um, I thought about this a little. If Mystic Maya didn't kill that nice man... She definitely didn't! Yes, of course. But if she didn't, then someone else did, right? Um, that murderer person. Yes, Pearls. Oh, I see. I wonder what's wrong. She seems sad. We'll talk to her and then I'll save him quit. So what did you think of seeing your first trial? I was really surprised. I'd never seen so many people before. Uh oh. And Mystic Maya looked so small and helpless. Well, Maya's already naturally short, so... And then that snobby woman with roughly clothes. Roughly? Oh, she means Franzika. She had such a bad attitude. She acted like she had already decided that Mystic Maya did it. I'm going to tell her what I think of her tomorrow. I wouldn't miss tomorrow's trial for the world. <laughs> Prosecutors. Why was that woman bullying Mr. Mystic Maya? Well, she's the opposite of a lawyer, a prosecutor. So her job is to prove people guilty. They don't care if someone's innocent. All they care about is if they win. But that's terrible. But she's really a good prosecutor with a heart on the inside, right? There's no one like that. All prosecutors are the same. Well, he might have become a good guy, eventually. He? Who are you talking about, Mr. Nick? Is it that person Mystic Maya was talking about? Mr. Edgy Worth? Where did you go, Edgeworth? That was a long time ago. He is not around anymore. Huh? He clutched onto his foolish pride too fiercely and died for it. Really? No. Bullshit, game. I know he lives. You have two games based specifically on him. Oh, that's too bad. The murderer. By the way. Yes, what is it? Um, you wouldn't happen to know anything about who the murderer is, would you? Why are you asking me? No, I was just thinking earlier. I didn't see anything. She didn't see anything, huh? Speaking of that, during the murder, where was Pearls and what was she doing? On top of that, this key. When did she pick this up? I just realized I never asked you why you were doing at the time of the crime. Pearls, where were you and what were you doing when the murder happened? Ah! Uh. What, what was I was doing? I, I wasn't doing anything. She's really bad at lying. You can whisper it to me. I won't tell anyone else, I promise. Oh, no! Ah! Um, I guess you can see through my lie, huh? Yeah, clearly. I can't lie to you, can I, Mr. Nick? Well, let's see if we have the evidence, because, hmm. Because obviously the key is at least one of them, right? But I don't think I would have the other one. You really won't tell me what you were doing at the time of the murder? Maybe something will open up if I present the key? I'm sorry. With the Magatama, I can unlock your Cyclops, right? Yes, uh, what should I do? Should I tell you what my secret is? If you would just tell me, it would be easier for the both of us. I'm so nervous. Pearl's holding the key to this whole case. I can feel it. Speaking of keys, this one turned out to be unique important, too. I didn't think it would literally be the key in today's trial, though. Oh, I have to present the Magatama, yeah. <laughs> Pearl's Alibi. Pearl, you have to tell me what you were doing when the murder happened, okay? Um, but what if I just... Well, I can't just tell you what happened. Then I'll guess what happened. How does that sound? What? You can do that? You'll tell me if I guess something right, won't you? Yes. Now, when the murder was taking place, you were here, right? In the side room. I'm pretty smart, Pearls. I know you are right here. No, I wasn't. Huh? I'm wrong? Oh, I feel a little better. Oh, I feel a little warmer from embarrassment. I better try again. Were you in the chamber? Darn. There's only so many places you can be. Were you in the meditation room? Take that! 
I guess she... I don't even know! Because I didn't even think this part would open up! Were you in the winding way? You were here, weren't you, Pearls? In the winding way. Wow! You got it! So do you think you can tell me now? I'm sorry, not yet. Oh, man, alright, what next? Okay, I think I know what you were doing there. Do you really know that much? Well, I am a lawyer, you know. Now, what was it Pearls was doing in the winding way? The key! So? I feel just a little bit better. Huh? You're a lawyer, but you're still a person after all. Sorry, I'll get right this time, okay? I think we, uh, I know what you were doing. Do you know that much? Let's see. Now, what was it Pearls was doing in the winding way? Because if she was there, was she meeting with Eeny Meeny? Hmm. I'm trying to think. Because it's saying, what was she doing? But I guess maybe we lack Evan. Okay, I think I see things now. We need to investigate. But we should do that next time. Well, let's continue just a little bit more. Indulge me. It's really empty. Training was supposed to be held today, but I guess it's already over. Well, let's go to the winding way. Because I think she might have smashed that pot. Would she have? But that would have been happy. I was there before. So there's no one here. And even though the weather is gorgeous today, it's raining inside my heart. Ah, yes. Get poetic, why don't we? It's a really old urn. There's ashes from a long dead person inside. It looks like something in the long history. Other than that, so time to move on. Hmm. It's a small incinerator. I don't think... Mm -hmm. ba -ba -ba. A splendid garden. Traditional is a bit... Hmm. Although, that incinerator piques my curiosity. Yes, and we can't look at it anymore. That's the side room. Guests can be... Hmm. The bedding is all laid out today. I guess I'll leave them alone. Excuse me. Who am I talking to? There's no one here. Hmm. I keep wondering about this box. I'm sure this wasn't here before the murder took place. It looks like a box for storing clothes, but it's pretty big for just clothes. It's mostly empty, but a few folded pieces of channeling costumes sit at the bottom. Hmm. My real question is... Yeah, because what is she doing there? I thought the key would be important. But the game is like, they word it weirdly, too. So maybe they do expect you to automatically have what you need? Let's see. Hmm, looks like Morgan's here too, but she hasn't noticed me yet. What is she doing? It looks like she's talking to a picture. What the fuck? Hello, Chia. Don't you see? Take a look around. Finally, my chance has come. I've waited for this day for so long. That's right, prepare yourself, dear Misty. What in the... Who's there? Oh, if it isn't Mr. Wright. Um, just curious, but that picture you were just looking at. Oh, today was that event, was it not, good sir? I heard you did well. Huh, oh, yes, thank you. I'm terribly sorry I could not attend the trial today. Please accept my apology. I had a previous engagement as I had to watch over the trainee's training today. I get the sense she really doesn't want to talk about the picture. All because the master can't be here with us, you understand. And that is why a lonely branch family member such as myself must do this. Mirror, reflective, some of that. Guess that's a felony, so there's nothing really new. There, Gurane, ba ba ba. Yeah. What happened? Have you remembered anything about the murder? No, I told you everything I know already. Were you in this room the whole time Laud and I went to, went to talk to the police? Yes, of course. I was by Mystic Maya's side by the entire time. I performed the spirit severing technique and he held her in my arms afterwards. You said that yesterday as well. Did anything else happen? I would like to say more did, however, that is all that occurred. Uh, I was really hoping for some new info. 
I suppose nothing happened in the end, good sir. I'm sorry to have played on your hopes. Could you possibly be more patronizing? So did the students train every day? Yes, absolutely. They were given a day off the day after the murder, of course, however. And I assume both Maya and Pearls went through this training. Mr. Wright! Ah, yes, yes! Wow, she got really scary really fast. How many times must I tell you before you understand, good sir? They are to be addressed as Mystic Maya and Mystic Pearl. Sorry, I meant Mystic Maya and Mystic Pearl. Wait, I'm sorry, but Mystic Pearl? Isn't that going a bit too far? Next question, please. Oh man, she's really being a pain in the butt about this. Please remember to watch... Uh, to watch not only what you say, but how you say it, good sir. So the master is, um, Maya's mother, right? Mystic Misty. She is a brilliant medium. And where is she now? You're not sure. Not sure? About 16 or 17 years ago, Mystic Misty failed at channeling a certain spirit. And after that, she simply disappeared. I don't believe she will return to this village in any case. And in four years' time, her name will be forever erased from this village. Erased? A person who has been away from the village for over 20 years is considered dead. Oh, I see. And that is four years from now for her. When that happens, a new master will be appointed to Kurang Village. And? Mystic Maya was supposed to become the next master. However, with this murder, I am afraid. I must be imagining things. I thought she was laughing to herself a second there. What if I show you the key? This, this is the key to this room. That's right. But, but why do you have it, good sir? That, I'm not telling. R return it at once. I, I can't. It's evidence after all. I think she knows exactly how important this key is to the murder. What is this feeling I'm getting from her? It feels, hmm, I can't describe it. There are six parts of the Curing Sacred Writings. To think that this valued treasure of our village and Mystic Maya were both shot by a gun. Well, that's... Even if it was something that occurred during a channeling, it, it is an unforgivable act. I just realized another thing. She clearly looks like the person, but she didn't look like it when she was... Hmm. There is weirdness abound. There's some empty space behind the folding screen. Why the candles can't reach back there, so it's completely dark. There wasn't anyone back there at the time of the murder. That's what Lotta testified in court. I knew I should have taken a look. I can always count on Lotta to make things hard. Hmm. Unless I'm supposed to give her, like, other information? Is there anything else that I can... Maybe... That is Mystic Maya's costume, isn't it? It's a shame. I never thought anything like that would happen to her. But we don't know... But we don't know that it was Maya that did it. Oh, poor Mystic Maya. Do you ever listen to anyone other than yourself? That is Mystic Maya before I applied the spirit severing technique. This picture was taken without my express permission. I knew allowing a person like her from the heartland into our country was a bad idea. You do realize that the heartland is a part of this country, right? Thing. Hmm. So that means that I should have everything I need. Is there anything that I haven't looked at? Because we've looked at the garden, we've looked at the incinerator, we've looked at the pot. Because the game is saying that she was on the winding way. It's a small alcove. I have no idea what's supposed to be in her symbolized. If I had one of these in the office, it would end up as storage space. But here it's decorated with some pretty flowers. Crane village, bears. I'm just trying to think, what could the game ma want me to present to Pearl that would make sense? Well, let's go and talk to Mai if we can. Mai is still in questioning, she'll probably be done in a bit. Well, let's go to Wright and Co. 
case has had me out of the office most of the time, I can come back tomorrow hoping mine should be my top priority. So I literally, all I have is trying to nail down your thing. So you're at the winding way, it's not the key. I don't know what I'm supposed to present to you. Well, let's see, can I present the key? What about this key, Pearls? You found it on the day of the murder, right? Yes! Now, where you found it, key is very important. So please tell me, Pearls, where did you find this? Um, I found it in the incinerator. The incinerator? Was she talking about the one in the garden? The door on it was a little open, so I took a peek. When was that? It was after the channeling, when everyone was in a panic. Hmm. Uh, Mr. Nick? Yes? Are you going to tell my mother? Huh? You mean, tell Morgan what you did? Yes, if she finds out that I was playing in the leftover trash, I'll bet I'll get a spanking. Ah, gotcha. Well, let's keep it a secret from her then, alright? In the incinerator, huh? Sounds like a good place to search next. So I probably should have, like, talked to her about that. Okie doke. And here I thought presenting it would be important. Hey, there's someone by the incinerator. Oh, looks like they noticed me. And they're now running at top speed towards me. Oh, hey. <laughs> like, <laughs> you're that dentist guy. Actually, it's Phoenix Wright, attorney at law. Nice to see you again. Oh, like, real suave. So, it's like my turn. It's nice to see you, too. So, what's up? You're all out of breath. Like, huh? Oh, like you mean, like I'm just totally happy, like totally excited to be here. Excited? Like, I mean, there's so many things to, like, see. It's like the real deal here. Oh, really? For example? For example, like, that urn over there, do you, like, know about it? All I see is an old cracked piece of pottery. Well, first things first. That's right. Pearl said she found this key inside the incinerator. I guess I should take a look inside myself. Th this... This is from Maya's costume! There's blood on it. A tiny bit, but still. Unburned remains found inside the Guardians. Yeah. So someone tried to burn this. And this key was also found in there. And I get a feeling this incinerator played a crucial part in this murder. Well, let's talk. Sacred urn. Is there something, so some sort of legend about connected with that urn? Like, yeah, it's like this village's treasure. Huh, didn't know that. And, like, it's sealed inside the urn. Um, it's? What are you talking about? Like, you know, Ami Faye's spirit. Ami Faye? Who's that? Like, geez, Mr. Smith, give the program. Everyone knows that lady who founded the curing channeling technique was Mystic Ami. Um, you don't have to get upset with me. So, like, as long as her spirit, like, lives in that urn, the spiritual powers of the Faye family will stick around. Like, isn't that totally romantic? Um, romantic, huh? If that urn really is important, as she says, it could be a vital clue. Remember to stay hydrated. Annie, I want to ask you about the murder. Murder? Dr. Graves, remember? As if there's another one. Well, that one, like, you should have said no so in the first place. So, like, I totally don't know anything because I was, like, sleeping in the side room. Well, that's not much help. Did you notice anything at all? Like, come on, what a total bore. I, like, totally have nothing to do with this, like, murder thing. Oh, yeah, you only introduced Dr. Gray to Karain Village. No relation, sure. Even if you were only acquaintances, that still means you knew him. Furthermore, your sister, who died in that accident, was a nurse at his clinic. All right, then. Why don't you tell me about your sister's fatal accident? Like, why? You think, like, it's got something to, like, do with the murder? I don't know yet, but I'm trying to chase down every lead I can. Two, huh? Psylox? Like, what is it? Looks like I'm going to need something prior. Mouth open this one. Alright, I'm interested. Let's unlock your Psylox if we can. Please tell me about the traffic accident. Oh crap, it saved my health. Huh? Like those accidents? Your sister's accident, naturally. Oh, um, oh yeah. So like that Dr. Grey guy made my sister fall asleep and like that's all I have to say about that. Hmm, interesting. 
Then he just asked whose accident, which means she must know something about another person's accident. All right, let's change the topic then. How about you tell me about a certain other person's accident, huh? Another person's accident? I don't have anybody's accident in mind. Well, that's weird. I can't, I don't have anything. Hmm. Well, let's examine that urn. There's a spirit in this urn, huh? Hmm. All I see are a bunch of cracks. I guess maybe the spirit could live in the space between the cracks. Looks like something's written on it. I am, huh? Weird. Sacred urn added to the court record. Which means I think that I can... Now... Answer... Pearl's thing. Because she was fixing the urn. God dang it. Let's unlock your stuff. But yeah, I no longer think that it was Pearl who was used to channel spirits, but I feel like something had... Then again, we haven't seen Ami... Or not Ami, but... Eeny meeny open her eyes, so maybe she looks like her sister. You have to tell me what happened. I'll tell you where you can be, where you were. You are in the winding way. Fixing the urn. You were here, weren't you, in the winding way? So, do you know what you... Tell me. What next, okay? I think I know what you were doing there. Alright, I'm a lawyer. You were fixing the urn! So? What? Come on. How dare you, game. The game won't let me answer things properly. The game is mean. Well, I'll figure it all out next time. Ugh, but this, uh, extra, like, answer stuff is being a bit of a bother. Because they uh, throw it in there, and then you have to look for more answers, which I guess makes sense. But it's just, like, it kind of encourages you to try anyway. And it's weird. Blah. But we will try and figure it out next time. We did make some progress, at least. Hmm. But the new system is a tad weird. It is the first time that they've had it in a game, so maybe they're still working out the, the hitches and all. It's definitely interesting, but again, it's also a bit weird in that you basically have to guess to a degree. Because I figured that the key would be important to that. Or the urn, because she, uh, like, obviously the urn was broken, but at the same time it was broken before, but, eh. Higgledy-pickledy, uh, we'll figure something out next time. We'll dig around, find things. I guess maybe the game wants you to dig around a lot, and then, like, go in with the Cyclops, but, eh. I'm the kind of guy who's like, ooh, Cyclops, I want to do them now. It just, ah, it hurts the brain. It hurts me. It's still very fun. It just is much more difficult and you have to think a lot harder. I have to spend up my brain energy. But yes, that'll be it for now. The cases are getting more winding, but a lot more, like at least this case, is very interesting. Again, it's a bit weird that the tutorial case is like, oh, Maya is here. But then we haven't met Maya in forever for this case. Again, it's possible that the previous case took place in the future. Because I didn't pay attention to, like, the time. So who knows. But yeah, we're still having lots of fun. It's just that it's hurting my pride by making me fail more. Nah. But yes. Thank you very much for watching. If you want more from me, I have an edited content YouTube channel that I promise content is coming to in the future. Called Neon Icy Wings. Whereas I have the streaming and basically VOD archive channel Neon Icy Games on YouTube. So if you like to watch streams on YouTube, you can watch me live there or watch all the previous streams that I've done there as well. And then if you prefer to watch streams on Twitch, I dual stream to twitch.tv slash Neon Icy Wings. And 
elsewhere if you want to see things like my avatar in the corner, art that I make, and I'm doing a lot more art lately. You can catch me at various social medias found through my link tree. The link should be found in various places like bios and link areas of sites in general. But it should be linktr.ee slash neonicywings. But specific places you can find my art are Tumblr, uh, uh, yeah, Tumblr, Newgrounds, Inkblot, Twitter, so long as it's not on fire by the weird man who decides to roleplay as his infant child on an alt account. Elon Musk is fucking weird. But yeah, DeviantArt, Twitter, Tumblr, Newgrounds, Inkblot, all those places. And I hope to see you dudes next time, where we hopefully get a handle on the new Magatama system and Cyclops and stuff. Ah, it's in definitely interesting. It's just difficult. Ah, but yes, hope to see you guys next time. Bye bye.